no, I may, we might be live, maybe. We're alive. <clears throat> We're alive. Yeah. Let me know when to hit enter. Oh, go ahead, hit it. Do okay. it. Yeah, I can't get the face cam to work with this software. So are we still... Star Fox or are we Samus Aaron? I think we're that's the only one that's an actual account. If you say user, I think you have to make an account probably. Ah, or maybe it's just uh, no account. You know account. what? I do want to see Samus Aaron as this game, you know. It's, it's, <coughs> it's, it's time for an epic crossover. I'm ready. Uh, my body is ready, Reggie. Oh, wait. He's gone. Oh, Bowser. All right. This is definitely what I saw as a kid when I was watching the opening cutscene. It, for the Game Boy, it was the coolest thing ever. This, this is what I was saying. I told you, it is the coolest thing. This is what I saw in my mind. Oh my gosh, is it? it they're stylizing it like it's 2D. Yep. <clears throat> Don't you hate when that happens? Just You're just minding your own business on the ocean and BAM! Lightning! See, this is, what he, this is your fault for not using a raft. <laughs> you should have used a raft. Didn't you learn from... Zelda 1. Uh, it's a little bit jarring to go from that style to this. Yeah, no, it, it's more like a toy fuel. Yeah. A it, diorama it, and toys. <clears throat> yeah, it does kind of feel like like it's it's plastic. Mm -hmm. Wait, she, well, it's perfect what for... What was wrong with the Breath of the Wild engine? Can't you just just build Koholint Island in Breath of the Wild's engine and call it a day? That's what my friends were asking, just going, <laughs> uh, why wasn't this in the Breath of the Wild they, engine? They intentionally did all the extra work to make it like this, because this is the, what they wanted. Do you hear when I hear this? I like the old music a little bit better. I just hear like the, the shitty <clears throat> flute music, like the meme where they take songs and play it really crappily with a flute. Uh, like, a lot always, of people like this music. I don't, I don't diss I them, always, but it's just like... I'm just I always like, like that cloud ring around the, the wind fish egg. Hey, Dr. Chibasa! So, I'm not sure I'm ready for hero mode. We're ready for hero mode. Let's I do got it. my butt kicked. <laughs> no heart drops. Yes. That sounds horrible. And everything does twice as much damage. That sounds extra horrible. So, are there still the uh, hearts under pots and things and dungeons? No. Oof. Yeah. No. Uh, so <coughs> that's why I'm not going with it. Hmm. Um, so, well, uh, if we name him Thief, nothing bad will happen to his name. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, okay. It's not Mario. What? Easter eggs. <laughs> oh. Oh, this was from the original Game Boy game. You could just, a bunch of names you could give it from various characters in the game would change the music. I never knew that. I... I... Toby Fox, apparently you weren't as creative <laughs> as you thought. I was friends with Mario because it's funny. No! <laughs> it didn't even capitalize the M! Didn't need to. <clears throat> At least go with Luigi. You're dressed in green. I guess What's you do wrong point. with you? Why did you put a palm tree in your house? Why wouldn't you, I guess? I don't know. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What, Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You're on Koholint Island. Hey, look, mushrooms. Maybe one of those will make you really, really big. Hey, Mario. Guess who the real Mario is here? You're not going to try to walk out without doing that? Hey, am I glad... Hey, excuse me! I'm cutting you off! Mario gets well, no time. Well, you read it! <laughs> you... What? How did you know... Uh, did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of your shield. It's-a me! Tarn! <laughs> It's-a you. So, yeah. Now, if I hold the R... It's just permanently on that key. Oh, okay. So you don't equip and de-equip it? Nope. A lot of equipment we don't. Interesting. So it's it's actually going to be a lot easier to sw to to use the item you want. Yeah, like uh, I know. Well, that... I mean, you got more buttons. You might as well make use of them. But I think it's actually playing this a little bit earlier today, so I got to, I got to see some of this. <clears throat> I love Team Tom. Bow Wow. Well, where are we going to explore the town? Oh, what do you want to see? I don't know. I was going to run right to the sword. I was, I'm just looking at what they've done. 
So they kept every line of dialogue identical? Um, as far as I understand, To the original yes. English translation? Uh, as far as I understand, yes. Oh, oh, my Bow Wow is so proud of his fine perf coat. Why are you called Madam Meow Meow if you have a bunch of freaking chain chops? Don't know. Don't know. In this world, they're apparently dogs. Talk to the little one. Well, she's the only one who has them, though. Nobody else does. There's regular, like, fox stuff. Makeup. Oh, you have a name? I didn't know it had a name. I forgot. Some accessories would be nice. Ciao, ciao. Some yeah. accessories would be nice. Sigh. Yeah. If I remember correctly, every character has a name. So they're adding more details all over the place, though. Yeah. Um, I'll come back with a sword because some of this requires bushes to be cut and stuff. <clears throat> Alright, let's go get it. There's flowers on top of the house. Yeah, a lot of added detail, especially to the interiors where people were comparing like in screen, um, internal shots where they just fleshed out houses and stuff more. And once again, no transition screens for the most part. Hmm, yeah, yeah, the transition screen is gone. Um, it kind of feels nice. Huh. So, in other words, this game could have been made using the Pokemon engine. <laughs> yes. Hello, Mr. Pokies. You got person in chat, so don't forget. <clears throat> Woo hoo! Come on. This sword's been rusting over here. Uh, yeah. Plot water, good for it. So you are the lad who owns the sword. <clears throat> now I understand why the monsters are acting so violently. It is line per line exact. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. You need to be re repeat what you've heard. <laughs> it is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go to the north to the mysterious woods. It's not line per line. I believe he says it's a, you'll find it a trifle difficult to leave while the fish is asleep or something like that. Or it's just a slightly different translation, but it's mostly intact. I'll wait for you there, Hoot. Yeah, so um, the owl no more asks to repeat his message. So you can't screw that up. And I accidentally hear his message <clears throat> four times in a row. <laughs> yeah. It's nice, you know? I like things like that. So anyway, uh, for those who uh, for those are here, by the way, I have a playthrough of the original Game Boy game that'll be coming out uh, in fragments while I'm on vacation. So the good news is the sword is also always equipped. Hmm, you can't de-equip it. That's always the weird thing about, about the Game Boy one, was that you could just de-equip things like the sword and the shield. Yeah, no, there's several changes I liked. Because um, I was checking <clears> out the streamline, because it, it was... This game is kind of difficult to... I'm still not sure what my opinion of the new graphics is. Well, because like, this is 60 bucks, <clears> and Breath of the Wild is 60 bucks. And which would you recommend for 60 bucks? Oh, well, know? shit! Oh, it's definitely Breath of the Wild. <laughs> That's what I mean. Fall down a hole. Huh. He doesn't have that skittery thing when he's on the edge? Um, no. Actually, you're right. That's what's missing. Cause I, I, I kept try, falling down. Try to, try to skitter on the edge, because you had a recovery time where you could avoid falling if you... No, it's either in or out. They removed it. Oh, no, it's there. It's there. It's just not as noticeable. Yeah, it's still there. Okay, it's still there. It doesn't make the it's sound. Just, it's, it's just very slight. It's slight, yeah. Because I, I kept falling into the Slice hole the sign. Early. Darn. Yeah, you can no longer uh, um, light the, the fox on fire anymore either. What? Tragedy. You can't kill it? Yeah, no, they removed uh, attacking the townsfolk. But you can't still attack the chicken. I don't think you could attack the townsfolk, could you? Uh, there is a few things you could do, like lighting the fox on fire. It's, isn't it funny? It's still a square. Yeah. <laughs> Even though the transitions is gone, it, it now is just this artificial square. Yeah. Um, but it's nice. Just It just feels nice. <laughs> My boy, this Yoshi doll is what all true warriors strive for. Right, I don't think I have enough money for it yet. What the? It is different. Yeah, no, you need twenty or ten, apparently. There's a piece of a heart. There's a purple ruby. There's a red ruby. A shield. And Yoshi doll. It's no longer spinning round, round, round. 
Yeah, he's got more of a photographic memory than I do. Well, also, I just played the Game uh, Boy game, you know? Ah, uh, okay. I am in the process Ow. of... Fox. <clears throat> Fox! Falco! <laughs> Alright, so Terran's out. Yeah, of course. Alright. So, yeah, now we she's... We gotta talk to Marin. Yep. <laughs> oh, so that's her hint for the toadstool. It actually sounds like a human singing instead of <laughs> what? I mean, yeah, okay. It's a lot of nice touches. What already? There's no screen transitions. We can hear her from more than three feet. Come on. <clears throat> Apparently, she has a very localized voice. Yeah, very localized. Can you steal things? Yeah. Okay. I'm not saying you should, I'm just asking if you can. I know, kid. Well, it seems that after you uh, you save, you'll start the last place you saved. Unless what saving? Don't ask me, I'm just a kid! Yeah. <laughs> yep, so, yeah, you no longer trigger the message <clears throat> just by walking into it. Hmm. But if you hit A, it will tell you you need the, the power bracelet. Hmm. Or that's, in this case, it's too heavy to lift. You'll need an item. Because they were, they were kind of big in this game. Ah, oh, the mountain guy. That's with my boys. I'm Papow. Pleased to meet you. I'll be lost in the hills later. <laughs> oh, yes. Telling me. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. He does. He does. He keeps that promise. He does. With four boys who look alike, even I get confused sometimes. By the way, my baby wants a Yoshi doll. That's one of the trendy games. I couldn't get it. Four boys? What? Well, where are the other three? They're all out of town. Ah, okay, okay. I'm wondering what those yellow, red, and purple things hanging from the wall are. Hmm, let's look. Cause, uh... Oh. Crazy Tracy? Healing potions? That's what I'm thinking. Got three big pots for me to wreck. Ah, Kunto Kente has stepped in. Yeah. Hello there, Kunto. Um, uh, so yeah, once I, once I go into the woods and get some money, I can do more stuff in here, because the fishing costs money. Well, we only need to catch one fish. Um, there's gonna be more stuff in there we want. <clears throat> there is. <coughs> not gonna say much. I'll let that speak for itself. And now, nah, I'm not gonna step in the shrine for the moment. The book shrine. Book Hello. shrine? Yeah, the hint, the hint house. That's, hmm. that's right next to me. It's got a, just a bunch of books there you can... Oh, the library. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, right there. No, no, we don't need that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. when we playing the Game Boy, I never put together that the family with, with three boys outside a part of it. <laughs> it's just, just, I don't know, it just didn't occur to me. Oh, you again. I'm hungry. Let's eat the owl. Hoot, oh brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer. Welcome to the mysterious forest. Yeah, fog came out of nowhere. I was like, I'm like three steps in here, and suddenly. This is the closest. This is the closest to the lost woods you're gonna get. I'm afraid you may find it a little difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. Yeah, I'm kind of mixed on the graphics too. Um, I've never played Minish Cap, believe it or not. Which is south of the village. Go there with the key in the forest. The windfish is watching. It's always watching. Yeah, you're not good at flying. <laughs> yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Wow, you just murdered that guy. <laughs> They're no match for Link. Yeah, I went through the first two dungeons earlier, so I'm a little bit faster than I was. I was wandering in circles for a while in here. <laughs> I'll be frank because I just did not remember. I knew I needed the mushroom. I was like, why do I need the mushroom? I don't, I don't remember. You'll be Frank and I'll be Hadrix. Yep. Money! Very nice. Very nice. And now you can get uh, the Yoshi doll and the fish. And uh, maybe the shovel. No, you can't afford the shovel. That's like 200 or something. Oh, right. 
If you read Nintendo Power back in the day, you could have seen Nestor threaten the owl with a sword sandwich. Yay. I was sitting on his head telling him what to do the whole time he's trying to adventure. That is amazing. <laughs> that's good satire. That's, that's great comedy. That's what you want with the, like an annoying character. <laughs> they did it later with Navi. <laughs> the reporter Power didn't see it coming. No, no, what are you doing? Oh, shoot. Okay, I did it wrong. <clears throat> yeah. I'm talking and trying to play at the same time. I cannot do both. Um, I don't know. I never... I don't think I ever had a Nintendo DS. Uh, I did play one game on it with uh, Fire Emblem. I don't know what Zeldas came out on it. I didn't like Oracle of Seasons and Ages much. I, I beat one of the two, and Uninspired. I just... I don't know what it was about them. There was... I don't know. But I have... I've, it's not like I've played every Zelda game, either. I played, uh... <clears throat> I really like the original Zelda for the NES. I actually like Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. I don't lot, a lot there's a lot of people that don't like it, and it was literally the game that made my father stop playing video games. <laughs> he'd been he'd been a gamer, and then that one just frustrated him so much he stopped playing video games. Well, at least console. For ages, he didn't do play any. He did eventually get get back get into PC. Get, but yeah, no, it was uh, yeah. But I mean, Link. First of all, any one of us has had more experience with platformers than anyone alive when that game was released. And then there was no internet, and the game was filled with bullshit. Like false walls you can jump through and stuff like that all over the place. The early games were just cryptic. Even this one has cryptic stuff in it. I don't know how it. he got to the end of the game, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, I know. Just... With no hints and no one to tell him what to do. Believe it or not. Grandma... How did he find the city in the middle of the forests that you smashed with a hammer to reveal? How did you even find that? Blind luck. Uh, apparently, uh, Grandma he Florida would've... also got to the last boss. Zelda 2? Zelda 2. Um, oh. Her husband played it, and she was helping him and coaching him through the game, and they got all the way um, and even beat the game. They actually beat it. Wow. Uh, but that is, that is I wasn't detail. until my high school that I finally beat that thing. Oh, yeah, no, one of our uncles has been really amazing at Dr. Mario, of all things. Like, really, really amazing at it. Like, you could watch it. Like, he, he could probably be up there with some of the top-tier players. Just... Just like not even looking at this game. Blah, 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 blah. Like, goodness, man. That's a talent. You know, I kind of appreciate that it didn't stick, stick a whole bunch of text you had to type through. Yeah, no, they streamlined this sucker. And yeah. it's really nice. It actually feels good without all that noise. Alright, so I can set this to one of two keys. Okay, you can have two sub items. Nice. Okay. Okay, yeah, because that'll let you use your bomb arrows and other trickery that originated from this game. Yeah. You just played the first Zelda? Sorry, Dr. Cheribus, I'm a little bit slow on keeping up with chat today. The first it, one is, like... Aren't you going to bounce around the thing? You got stuck. <laughs> Otherwise, you would. Hello, Mario. Last thing I remember was a biting into a big Gadosia toadstool. Peach, no! See, then I faced it on the stream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, see, it's supposed to be a leaf that turns you into a raccoon thing, or a full tanuki suit, but whatever, man. Yeah, sounds strange, but it sure was a fun. Ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Anyway, yeah, I liked uh, the Super Nintendo Zelda was was good not not quite as good as the previous entries in my humble opinion people hailed that one that, that's one of the few Zelda games I just gave up I got bored it's good it is a good game until the I... dark world it's just kind of <laughs> it's just too much samey I guess I, I think it's mostly the enemy design I don't know I, I liked it but but I prefer the the NES ones I spent a lot of time thinking about it because I'm just like I love Zelda 1 but Link's, Link's Awakening is great 
This one is like that. This one yeah. and Zelda One are in my top five favorite Zelda games of all time. Top five? Holy shit! There's there's four that are better than it. Um, no, I mean, it's in the top five. What else know. competes? Um, okay, be, Breath of the Wild was freaking Wild amazing. It's on the list. Twilight freaking Princess, of amazing. course. Amazing. Twilight Princess was pretty good. And then there's gonna be a fifth one somewhere. I just don't know. Uh, uh Majora's Mask. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna either be that or Wind Zelda, Waker. Zelda sixty four. I, I haven't played. See, I didn't play Ocarina of Time, or I, I played it a little bit. I didn't have a sixty four, so I missed that in Majora's Mask. I. Uh, what one did you just name? Uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, uh, Twilight Princess. No, no, you named another one a second ago. Oh, uh, Wind Waker. Yeah, I never played Wind Waker either. So I'm missing a bunch of the Zeldas. Yeah, no, they have a, it's just a remarkably good series. Um, oh my gosh, maybe there'll be actual speed runs of this that don't involve glitching through the uh, everything. God, it's like you just go down in from the water and somehow glitch into the egg, yeah. and it's just like, what the hell? What? They, they did the same That's thing stupid. with stupid. They did the same thing with uh. Link to the Past. It's I, insanely I, I, glitchy what they I do. don't mind. Like, like I, I want to be entertained with a speed run. It's stupid if they just glitch out and then they're at the end. Like, it's not. I'm not even necessarily opposed to the concept so of glitches. One of the reasons I love this game so much is everything's a puzzle. You, know, you have to know you can't kill them. You just shield and knock them off a pit. Uh, not everything is beat with a stomp or your sword. You have to learn, study, and think. Mm. Um, they've got the Zelda one. Sometimes you kill every monster in a room to unlock a puzzle. Yeah, which they just taught you here. Um, they they have all sorts of room dedicated to teaching you mechanics, but I'm I, I'm just so used to it. I know them that I don't that I'm, I'm like sitting there playing it early, going, "This is a room to teach me." Too bad I already know. <laughs> But this is still a good room. It would be interesting to see uh, a boss keys on this game. Oh, do, do, do. Uh, he did, didn't he? he? He might have. I'll have to. I'll have to check. I think he did all the Zeldas. Yeah, he did. He did every Zelda, and he just finished doing all the Metroids. Because, uh, well, at least the Metroid Primes and the proper. But he's going to do other I'm next. And uh... it really does feel like it's a like like everything's toys. Yeah. Like, that's just the aesthetic. It's just... Yeah, these guys jump if you swing your sword, so you just kind of want to come in and just, you know... Did those spawn in dungeons? I don't think yeah. they did. They did. In dungeons? I in don't dungeons think they too. did. I had them in dungeons. Okay. I am most mistaken. I remember getting them in the forest all the time. Yep. They drop with a lot of frequency. Uh... The map. I like these one-way doors. Like I wish My that audio is a little worse than normal. Uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. I can't get this thing to route through OBS, this software. When I'm streaming off the Switch, I'm going through the Elgato. I love the one-way doors. Yeah. And I, I, I literally cannot get... I can't use the software I normally use. Oh. It's interesting having the dungeons not have transitions. Yep. And the other cool thing here is uh, that... Uh, <laughs> Link looks like the son of David the Gnome. Somebody remembers David the Gnome! If you... Uh, if I have to show people that because, like, there's there's a very, very specific generation that remembers that show. His fox swift and everything. If you've got the layout of the dungeon here, uh, you don't even need to go to every room. You just run around with all these extra keys. And that's actually kind of fun. Um, I got but you can't take them from one dungeon to the next, unfortunately. You can't? No, Zelda 1 lets you do that. This game, it's just like, nope. Okay. Even in the original Game Boy game. So there's a thing over there, but we don't have a bomb, so... Oh, the, ca the, the bat! Stop! What? That is an amazing bat. I want that. That is my pet. I'm keeping it. Apparently that blade thing kind of sucks. Ah, uh, they went with the, uh, you have to have an owl's beak to get the statues to speak thing. Yeah, I grew up with uh, fragments. You put the fragment in okay. to a slab. That felt like the wrong way to push that, but okay. 
flip. Yeah, you gotta flip them because once again, another enemy you can't defeat by traditional means. Yeah. Um, this game is just full of. I, I like the enemies being puzzles in themselves. Like, like I wish more games did this. Kabouter? Stop them! Holy crap, they kept it. This was one of the things I was most wondering was, they're going to make the game 3D. What are they going to do about the 2D side-scrolling segments? Yeah, no, no. They, they were. This is a very faithful adaption. Um, I have no complaints in that department. <laughs> now, if I could only get this streamlined version with the original game's terrible black-and-white graphics... Because I liked the terrible graphics, Doc, on it. I know. I want that in the original music. Green and white. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind that. That would be such a nice option if they included that. That would have been the they perfect. They never. In, they never bothered to include that. There was one game that did that had like the you could switch between the music tracks. Actually, um, you could switch the music tracks in. I think the Secret of Mana remake. Yeah. I believe. No, no, jump on hole. Oh, oh, duh. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I believe I believe you could choose the music track, which was good because if I remember right, their their new monster track was horrible for boss fights. Not that the original boss fight track was all that great. God, that thing would get annoying. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a lot of story behind the development of this one. Oh, here we go. Hello, it's Slimer. Yeah, he's goopier looking than I remember. Oh, ah! come on! What? What? You say something? <laughs> I just let him have it. Oop. Nope. Nothing. This is where you fall down go- What the? There's healing? That wasn't there in the original. Oh, I need the boss key. I don't think I have it. No, you need to go back and uh, you made a wrong turn earlier. I did. That's what Link's good for. He's you gotta for... go left one and then up. See, so they do have transitions, but only for the uh, mini boss. Actually, oh, no, actually right. for, for quite a few. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Have fun with this. How long will it take you to get the bullshit? Oh my gosh. Sometimes you do that, they wouldn't both switch. Oh, ah! no. Nope. And you wouldn't get them both somehow. Alright, so blue. I think they made the timing more generous. I think so. Those were always a pain in the butt. They were a pain in the ass! Them and the horse heads. They have to <laughs> throw. No, no, no. The CDI games based their link off of this. This is the, um... This, this is an exact remake of the Game Boy Zelda, the, the first Game Boy Zelda game. Right. A Link to the Past. And, uh, yeah, no, the side-scrolling sections and everything were all in it. Hey, this was Miyamoto's favorite Zelda game. Okay, okay, it's up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, we need to go two to left and one up. Sorry. You were wrong! I was wrong. You have a power thing. Hit him. I'm like, oh, I'm sure. That is so enjoyable. Oh, wait until you see Link drown. It's amazing. <laughs> it yes, above and I just love watching people drown. Let's do this. This child delights with in violence. Yeah, the second Zelda Two: The Adventure of Link was all side scrolling too. But yeah, this this one, um, Miyamoto didn't make this one. In Zelda One House had side scrolling in it very briefly. You never got the artifacts. That no, it didn't. That was the top we, down as usual. No, no, it went sideways. Because you get to go down the stairs, and then you'd have to go up and grab the item. I, 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 Don't you remember that? Yes, but I disagree. Well, I mean, that's, that's the same idea in this game. They just explored it more. No, this one actually had gravity. Yeah, well, that one didn't. you couldn't jump. Oh, boss time. Yeah, this killed me the first time. Hello. Buzz, buzz, outsider. Where's the music? Good start. I prefer the original. Not bad, but... I mean, I grew up with the original. I can't tell if it's that it's actually better, or if I'm just being a crotchety old man. 
ready to tell this thing to get off my lawn. I did power swings. We kill it faster. It does more damage. Otherwise, I'd have taken three hits. Yeah. And I'm like, no, no, I'm out of here. <laughs> in the original, in uh, in uh, a link to the past. God, the first time we played, we couldn't figure out that we were supposed to hit at the end of the tail because it constantly would turn around, so its head would always be in the way. Mm -hmm. And we kept hitting its head and hitting its head and hitting its head, and it wasn't dying, and we weren't sure. Because it seems to react a little bit when you hit it. Yeah, no, this game is all about giving more clarity. The only thing that, I mean, my only complaint so far is it didn't quite give enough clarity once again on the uh, trading system. I got all the way to the third dungeon earlier, and I'm like, I'm stuck. What do I do? What do I do? Well, okay, you F get a Yoshi doll. Yeah, it is. You trade it to a baby. You trade it for of course. dog food. Uh, you talk to Richard. He didn't go, hey, by the way. <laughs> I, I remember the trading thing because no other Zelda game does. This, this game is filled with stuff that no other Zelda game ever did. What's why I love it? Is it just, they just... And so who was it? Who was it the person who invented the Game Boy? That the developers, of the system who made this one, or I believe so. Um, and so that's there's, there's why one... it got the color if you put it on the Super Game Boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I love the Super Game Boy. And just the, the the story about the making of this game is hilarious. Where the team did it as a passion project, they're supposed to be porting over the Super Nintendo one. Um, and so this guy is just, it just like, it starts off with this guy just being absolutely bored out of his mind and going, you know what, um, what if I just start coding this? Um, and then more people see him working on after work hours and go, you know what, that's a cool idea. And so they, it's just a secret thing that they're working on for a few weeks until they get hyped about it and go, hey, Nintendo, we're doing this. And Nintendo's like, oh, yes, please, please do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you never got an actual port. <laughs> no, no, we didn't. We got... Because it would have been a terrible thing. The Game Boy was not made to port a Super Nintendo. Is that apples on a tree? Yeah, you could ram into them. That's always been in there. You just forgot. You couldn't see them though. Ah. Goody, it's serious. Yeah, the Moblins came to the village. Whole uh, gang. A whole gang of Moblins. <laughs> it's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house. And they did something to Bow Wow's house! Wasn't Snake Rattle and Roll an NES game? I can't remember anymore. I think so. Ah. It might be faster you find out yourself what happened. She's outside the house. Why would they why would they kidnap the most dangerous monster <laughs> that would eat them? Um, How did they probably, kidnap it? Probably that's why they would eat them. <laughs> How did they get away with it? Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, so this game is full of references to Mario properties. And so like one of the guys who worked on the team just said, like, yeah, no, it was on the Game Boy. So he said, sure, why not? Uh, no one's going to care if we just put Mario. Well, Luigi. nobody would object if it was done in a mainline either. I know, but it's funny. That, that, that's the way they got away with so many references, including Kirby and just Wart and just everything. Just going, yeah, no, no one's going to care. It's the Game Boy. And they never did it again. But that was just the funniest thing I'd heard. Why not? We like these things. On the Super Nintendo, uh, Mario RPG, both Samus, Aaron, and Link make appearances. Nobody ever th complains. Yeah, but those were Easter eggs. This is like... It was just sleeping in a bed right in front of you. I know, but you can miss it. This game, there's no missing Mario. He greets you right when you start. <laughs> All right, I... Uh... I think I went too far north. I need to go no, back south. No, missing the around. Goombas. Yeah, you gotta go around. You can't get through the Gopalanga swamp. Not yet. I need the power bracelet. There's somebody writing a letter in that house back there. It's not like you can do anything about it, but, you know. Ah, we need the power belt so we can get to that psychopath who uh, curses you for waking him up. Yeah. I like that guy. He's great. There's just so many great things. I like the whole mini quest here of just... Oh, something got stolen. They're going to break into their everything and wreck their wreck them hard. You kidnapped the dog. For that, the penalty is death. Oh, I thought the shield would bounce them. Turns out, no. No, it's metal. But you could sprinkle powder on them. Yep, I'll do that 
You're yeah. going the wrong way. Is it north? Where is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you got uh, north to the tall, tall heights. Ah, okay. Uh. At least it shows electricity sparkling on it. Okay. In the original game, it's just like, I'll just hit this thing. Why am I being shocked? Okay, right there. I was close. I was in the area. I just missed hmm, out. It's missing an ear. All right. Eh, who's this suspicious-looking runt? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. They captured a chain top. That would be dangerous. He was trying to... He, he's, he's walking forward, just stabbing over and over. Yeah, um, if you, had, you have to put your shield up to him to knock himself sideways. Um, if you try to attack him, he'll get you. Oof. Oof. Vicious. These things are vicious. They're serious. Yeah, some of the enemies I hear they made more aggressive. Yeah. Um, and some bosses they even made more aggressive. We'll see. Uh, cause they're just you must be them. an assassin sent by Meow Meow. Does she regularly hire assassins? Apparently. <laughs> Don't mess with that. Are she, we? Look at are, the pet she has. Hold up, hold up. Are, what are we getting involved in here? <laughs> What's the politics? Who have we? Which power have we just sided with? Yeah, no, no. She, look at the pet she keeps. That should tell you everything. She's got more than one. You came here to get me, but it's I who will get you. Uh oh, no, not quite. What? How do you keep stopping? You got one hit point, man. Keep your shield pointed at that thing. Keep your shield pointed at that thing. What are you doing? Beating him. I, I was uh, he was keeping track of my X position. That was what's going on. So I kept walking a little bit too soon, and he'd stop. Uh, now you can turn him into dog food and feed into this monster. You say bow wow, what a fearsome beast. That's Keep a it. Mild way of putting it. Keep it, don't bring him home. I wish. I wish. I would like a bow wow mode. <laughs> this game would he just should, be... He should just be an item that you can pull out. Wow, that would be. That Spin would him be around cool. like Bowser and throw him at people. Oh boy, yeah. That would be great. Just stick him on bosses. Watch out, Al. He'll eat you. Yes, eat the owl. <laughs> Hoot. That is a fearsome looking animal you have there. Come closer. That's that's what Link said. Do not forget, the next instrument is in the Gunponga Swamp. Yeah, look, I have a phone I can call if I need hints. Get out of here. Who's that to the right? Um, that's Stompe. Um, this is a big thing that's been talked about, the dungeon maker. I don't remember this guy. Um, he's been added. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, he's the one who is the dungeon maker guy. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, right, you can make your own dungeons. Right, 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 yes, of course. I heard uh, that. This guy's from Ocarina of Time, apparently. Um. For the one I didn't play. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, one of the ones I didn't play. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, last time earlier, I just went, uh seashell hunting with them. This time I'm just gonna jump more to business. Eat the dungeon. Yep. He just, just gone. He's more aggressive, it seems. He just is at it. Like, I just, I'm just like, yeah, chomp chomp. Um, just keep him away from Mario. He just seems a lot more active than I remember him being on the Game Boy. You know, it's weird in the in Mario Three when they what 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 dig? Oh. He'll tell you where to dig. Yeah, he always did. I don't remember he, that. Um, he'd sit there and sniff out seashells. So he told me to dig where? Oh, back down. Left. Over here. Yeah, over there. That's where he told you. All right, there's a secret seashell hidden here. Neat. When you get the shovel. Ba -ba -ba ba -da 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 -bum. Look how it looks funny how they throw his spear. Oh, the boss. Yeah. 
Yeah. The spear was the easiest thing to dodge. Because he's not like the other ones that were actually aiming. I think that's rupees in that chest. Uh, yeah, I think so. But I want rupees, so I'll go for it. Come on. Money! Money! When it's useful. Almost enough to buy a shovel. <laughs> I think it might, it might be just earlier I was swinging my sword more. I'm surprised that none of the speedrunners found a way to get Bar Wow to eat the last boss. Um, the game has all sorts of weird problems uh, if you get too far with Bow Wow. Oh? It, uh, it starts having all sorts of glitches and stuff in the coding. So, unless they've fixed that. All right. So, yeah. My friend was playing earlier and didn't know you could uh, light torches with powder. It's just... I mean, how, I, I, that's how I light all my torches. I don't know. I wish how I had do big other keys. people light their torches? I wish I had big keys. I had four of them. They were beautiful. Oh, no. It's... Uh, I'm, I'm heading to Anchorage. Um, I, I, it's... it's yeah, it's not business related. It's life related. I mean, I guess depending on how you define business. All right. I'm gonna spend a bunch of it. I'm I'm gonna work hard writing Actually, my novel. I'll show this room here. It's sort of a. Oh, go ahead. So this room here is. I don't. I, I could just skip this, but this is actually to teach you this enemy. The shy guy. The shy guy. Yeah. That he copies your movement, and he is. If you face him like this way, you can't hurt him. Um, and since it's just a kind of a safe room to explore him and figure out, oh, what I needed to do is come at backwards. Oh, crap. Not that close. And come from behind. And you come at him backwards and he wins the fight. <laughs> yeah. Back to back. My back is, my butt's stronger than your butt, clunk. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Uh, and yeah, like it's gonna it's in totally teach you rooms to teach you. And I was like, you know, that's nice. Um, yeah, 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 he is cool. He is definitely cool. Um, and this game also keeps puzzles solved uh, once you've solved them. Hmm, you're almost dead. So. I think there's healing in the next room over. So I'll use that to my advantage. Hmm. No, nope, magic powder. You should never actually have to get the mushroom again. You'll always be able to get powder. Yep. You don't really use it that often, though. I mean, you can use it as a weapon. Set every every enemy on fire. That's probably why you were how you were supposed to know. You, the the en powder sets enemies on fire. Ah. But yeah, no, a lot of people have been, I've seen have been confused by including my friend, because it's just such a weird thing. So, normally in the Game Boy game, you have to run over and immediately get that key. In this game, I don't. I can just leave it there. Because you already have a key? Oh, no, I mean that it, uh, the game will remember I solved the puzzle already. Oh. It's not going to despawn it. Oh, I see. Um, I, if I understand, even if I leave so, the dungeon. Well, when you get to the mini-boss, you can warp back. Yeah. I can work back. Otherwise, I'd have to immediately go back there, or else the game would forget after a period of time. No! Oh. Jump! 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 Don't celebrate! <laughs> Jump! Darn it! <laughs> Got me! Literally, it's like freeze frame on your agony. Um, and this one has this one actually had a cool puzzle in it at the end. Because this game, this game constantly makes you think about the enemies, think about the dungeon. Yeah. You're not going to okay. light the torches? Oh, don't need to. Nothing in this room. How do you know if you haven't lit the torch? So oh, I the, hi! I have the compass. It tells me if there's something in there. Oh, shit. Which was a cool thing that the compass never used to do. The people who made this game really thought, of, uh, you're just going to have to stop trying to do fight him that way. Point your sword at him. So you're supposed to throw bombs. You're not a sumo wrestler. What is this? Yeah, this is the boss that they made more aggressive. Yeah. Oh, crap. He'll throw you down a hole if you're not careful. 
Okay, he didn't throw bombs. This guy can spam bombs like mad, too. He can throw bombs? Yeah. Oh. He just, this time he just decided not to. I was, I was wondering. I was like, what about your bombs? Yeah, those were in, those were the first thing to greet you in the dark world in the Super Nintendo game. Can you kill it? Uh, not yet. I don't have anything to attack it with. No, no. Sp spin your sword around to kill it. That's what I always did. Oh, then maybe. You you tend to fall in a hole and take a hit, but you have to jump and. Oh. No, no, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> if if oh, it I'm sucks good. you in, it'll sit, drop you some down into a room, I think. Oh, I'm good this time around. I think it's the only one of it in the game, too. Uh, it really looks look more like an eyeball. Yeah, time for a power bracelet. I don't think that they did. I think this is right. Switch exclusive. Booze. Yeah, they'll probably put it on the PC later. More Mario enemies. Yeah. I like they look more on model. So there it goes. And it's just perma... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there'll be a comics. There'll, there's a old comic store uh, right down the street from where I'll be staying. Yeah. All the pots must go. Okay. I don't know how you could resist not coding new enemies and things. <laughs> <laughs> How do you resist the urge? The main thing is that this wasn't the old team, because I think if the old team came back, they would have been far more ambitious, considering somebody, what they've done. Somebody wants you to stop. Do you think the team even still works for them? I don't know. I've learned some weird things. Um, like, uh, do you know that Sakurai doesn't technically work for Nintendo? Yeah, it does uh, Smash Brothers. He He's works in... for um, HAL Labs, doesn't he? Um, he's an independent contractor. It just happens to work a lot with Nintendo, but at any point he could just say, you know what? I don't work for you anymore. Uh, I don't make Kirby anymore. Bye. <laughs> yeah, no, I you... don't think he'll ever find something as lucrative. Oh, okay, defeat. What would defeat? Let me see. It's the, 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 the Stalfos? The Paul's voice is last, isn't it? No, no Paul's voice is first. The imprisoned Paul, Paul's voice is first? Yeah, I talked about this in in when I was playing the uh, thing. This is the puzzle that drove me crazy. That I couldn't figure out forever as a kid. Yeah, it's a stupid one. As a, a yeah, well, it's like I didn't know what a Paul's voice was. I had no idea. Like the clue, I'm just like, what? What? They still call it the Paul's voice, um, but they do tell you skeleton. So I was like, okay, skeleton last. I know what a skeleton. The stalfos. Is. Yeah, what's a stalfos? Yeah, so they, they, they should have changed names on those. No, no, I've pre-recorded a bunch of videos, including the original Game Boy game this is based off of. And um, fa a bunch of Factorio. And yeah, there'll be there'll be some videos to come out while I'm away. I just like that uh, anytime you jump on a Goomba, it always spawns a heart. Yep. What, are you not going across? Don't need to. Oh, I know where that goes. Yeah, you don't need to go that way. I'd just be going backwards. Yeah. I recently played through this, so that I don't... That was one thing that really annoyed me. I, You know how much I loved Mushroom Kingdom Fusion? But they uh, they decided that a whole bunch of characters could not stomp. And uh, so stomping was like the Mario Brothers special power. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Link, can, t Link can totally stomp Goombas. Goombas, stomping isn't Mario's power. Being stomped is the Goomba's power. Yep. Smash Brothers says they all can stop them. <laughs> this... but here, um, I don't, was this in the original game? Pots could break pots? No, I don't believe it was. I don't think so either. And it feels nice, doesn't it? Yeah. If I aim just right... Destruction. If I aim just right, I can break multiple at the same time. Destruction 100. It feels nice. Yeah. So, yeah, this room here. Y Your it hint. doesn't... Oh. It, 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 shouldn't it have a face? That's that one. Yeah. So, yeah, if you get on here... And this was a puzzle, once again. Yep. That you just have to uh, think about the environment, think about things. It's the only one in the game. The only one in the game. It's kind of cool. It's just like, so you have this new power. Let's make sure that you... Uh... Huh, that corner is suspicious. 
The corner. Shouldn't be anything there. It must be explored. Ah, bombs. <laughs> Probably nothing there. It's bombs? just bombs. It's just matching you both. You want them? They're making the room symmetrical because their faces oh. on the other side. That's what you're saying. But then they put a green thing in it, so it's not quite symmetrical. It yeah, will. it's all the worst parts of a clown and a genie. It has to die. <laughs> it had to die. It Easiest has boss to die. in the game. Yeah, no, you you gotta see this. This game of Factorio has been an unbelievable. Like, holy crap. Like, I, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I took some mods, including multiple mods that made the enemies more interesting. Okay. Okay, listen, yeah. It won't break this bottle. Even the walls look tougher than that dinky thing. So, watch <laughs> this when you throw it against the wall. It actually gets a crack in it so you know that you did damage. Hmm. Nice, ain't it? In the original you... one, it was all in the sound design. Yeah, but uh, even then, people had trouble, got confused that they didn't think they were doing damage. Don't uh, get stuck in this. Yeah, it makes the hurt sounds. But anyway, uh, yeah, I, I put in I, I put in a bunch of interesting mods uh, to, that, that really make it more difficult. And then I, I foolishly chose the setting when designing the map. I chose Death World. You should have known better. Anything with death the name is generally a bad idea. <laughs> it's been, it's been quite the game. You broke my bottle. Oh, no. Baby's complaining that it lost its bottle. Oh wow, he actually has a delay before throwing it now. It's almost impossible to avoid in the original sometimes because it's. It, why aren't you dodging it? Because I'm hurting him double fast. I'm just speed running, man. Just dodge him and then hit him. Oh, it homes in. Yeah. A bit of a pain so to I dodge. wanted to see how they had changed it. <laughs> oh, sorry. And you're just like, no, he dies now. <laughs> like, no, no, I want to see. He's dead. He's dead, dead, dead. No, I took out the what cloud. I took out the cloud. You can do hero mode later. <laughs> could have been worse. He could have been hiding in a storm drain, tempting <laughs> you with a balloon. <laughs> Come down here, Freddy. It floats, Link. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. But so far, two dungeons and a rescue mission. You actually have this to gather action packed. You actually have to gather nine instruments in this game. Okay, this isn't even the owl talking to you. It's just the game going. The prairie is waiting. I'm surprised they kept that. Yeah, yeah, like there's some things they could have removed. Nothing could top top Tim Curry. I'm not even gonna watch their new adaptation. No, Tim Curry is forever the evil clown. He is the king of evil clowns. And so that's all there it. is to it. Yes. Okay, that's a movie I just haven't seen in such a long time. I don't remember it. Oh, the, it was a mini series. Oh, okay. It was. It was a mini series. It existed. I don't know what I want to say. Hey, Crazy Tracy. Yeah. Hello. I'm Please for smear a your oils all over my body. Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. I'm sure you do. How about it? 42 rupees for my little secret. Don't you need a shovel? <laughs> I'll rub it all over your body. There. I've applied my own secret medicine. What's this made out of? Porcelain. Don't meat. ask. <laughs> they don't have. Didn't they do a a sound thing and stuff with it? Like it made made a little event when she did that. The original. I think so. Here she's just all chill. Yeah. I mean, she, um, was, she, she might have laid you down in her bed while she applied the ointment. I don't know. It always struck me as a little bit more risque in the original. It makes me think of Zelda 2 where they close the door and suddenly all oh, you're all heels. <laughs> every town. Every town yeah, I, you know, went. Probably because I was so young when I played it, but nothing like that ever occurred to me. 
you know. Ah, so innocent. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I almost escaped. Donkey's up there. Um, I think I'm going to head north and eat <laughs> It's still eating. It's eating birds out of the air. All right. Oh. Yeah, they added more portals. The teleporters. Oh, you don't, you don't have to. Oh, wait, no, it's going. But it's I'm supposed to fall here. down a hole. A weird hole with a glow thing in it. Adrix likes weird holes. He, he looks <laughs> for them on gone. his way to work every day. The, pa the bacon, you know? Walking bacon. No, I, I, I don't, because sometimes you fall into the underdark. That would suck. It's really hard to get to work when you're six miles underground. And surrounded by, uh, oh, I don't know, carrion crawlers. Oh, oof. Bad stuff. There's plenty of terrible things like that. The windfish sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above. Or illithid. When you play the eight, so you don't need all nine, you just need eight. Yeah, I get the ninth. No, 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 the ninth is the uh, recorder. It's an item. The ah. ocarina. Oh, okay. There's Whatever it is. It's the only way for you to leave the island. To the top! Mount Tamaraj. If there was ever a time to make the mountain more epic, to make one change, make the mountain six times this height. Make it epic! Yeah, you could. They could have. That, they could that have would done. have been worth doing. With the screen transitions, it always felt like things were bigger and larger. The, the screen transitions actually make it feel like there's more that you're not seeing, you know? Mm-hmm. I know. Oh, oh. oh <laughs> dang it. Pits will be the end of me. Yeah, just like in the original. Alright. I'm gonna push this down. I'm having to think. This doesn't matter, you can't get it. Okay, okay. Unless you can. Can you pick <laughs> up skulls? I think I can because I got the power bracelet. Then maybe. So, then we'll briefly try because some of them I think he had a bomb and some of them I think he had a, the power bracelet. <laughs> Alright, so down and left. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Oh, yeah. yeah. Custodians. Okay. The thing about custodial work is it's not glamorous and it's not high paying per se. I got a new heart. But you'll always, always have a job. Forever. Especially in California. Never mind. Anywhere. <laughs> Though, um, I say that, but it's entirely possible we'll create more more powerful Vroombas that will someday put me out of a job. <laughs> the classroom Roomba. Turn it on! No, no, like, like, most places, like, let's see you had a restaurant. If you just bolted the table to the floor so they're always in the same spot, you could have a track that runs down the room with an arm at table height that would just have like a squeegee and scrubbers on it, and it would just go over all the tables. But you gotta, you gotta, admit, you have... gotta admit, a, uh, uh, an industrial <laughs> Roomba does sound funny. Just like, yeah. it's like the customers are eating at the table, and this Roomba just jumps out and latches to their face. Ah! The industrial Roomba's got me! <laughs> the Roomba! It burns. <laughs> yeah. You've been cleaned, corporate <laughs> corporate cleaning. <laughs> we expect you to pay extra for this. That's <laughs> for this service. So if, this, if this music weighs off, you get to hear Tao Tao Heights, the best song in the game. Yeah, Tao Tao Heights have the best music, but they they actually have the music kind of restrained in this. I mean. Maybe not. I had to. I had to power up. <laughs> Two in a row. That was beautiful. In the original, the power ups were like really overpowering. When you get them, you get the item and go, dee 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 dee, and it put up all this text and try to make an event out of it. And I actually got to where I didn't even want to pick them up anymore because it would. <laughs> okay, good. So, 
Ah, oh, but you don't fall in it like a hole. No, it's, it's more like the Breath of the Wild teleporting system going on. Hmm. Oh, yeah, can't go you? in there. Yeah, Link just poked his head in and went a big open. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but you can still get your shield eaten back in the day, you know? You're saying you can't? You can. Okay. That's just it back in the day. And now it's not random. I can pick. That's a, that is actually good. So more systems and an overworld. Noise, noise. So time to return you um, and get moving on to the fortress. You mean digging up golden leaves for yep. Mr. Smashing? Yep, so I better go get that Yoshi doll. Smashing! Yeah, you're going to need a stick and a shovel. Have the money for a shovel? Um, he, I'm pretty sure I do. So I need to go mm -hmm. down and around. Mm -hmm. The ghost isn't out yet. Yeah, the undead aren't worth your time. Seashell. Don't have a shovel. Boy, that that dungeon maker guy—he's everywhere. We gotta talk to the fishing place too. Oh yes, yes we do. Oh, just barely, and you can still play the Tandy game. <laughs> Feels nice. Feels nice. Now you can only now you only need nine hundred and eighty to buy a bow. I have a max of nine hundred and ninety. The fishing. I'm going to probably need at least three or five tries. You can't earn money fishing? Did they change the fishing mechanics? That's okay. Almost anything would be better than the old game's fishing mechanics. Well, I said I lost about uh, 30 rupees on it. So, a little bit more farming and I'll be there. Other people. Farming involves tractors and planting seeds. Link! Farming involves mowing the lawn. With a Good sword. Pay. Good pay. Yeah, because apparently other fish will attack your I fishing mean, if, line. If I had giant crystals the size of my head that I used as currency, I don't think I'd misplace them this often. I would be using them in slingshots, to be frank. <laughs> just, just carve people open with them. Uh, like Home Alone on the roof throwing the bricks, but this time it's just currency. You need to go get the Yoshi doll. Oh my gosh, it replenished the moment you walk, got off screen. <laughs> They're fast Kind off. of simulating the, th <laughs> the the different screens, except not. Uh, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> I, I just hope I get... Uh, I'm going to farm for a little bit more. Brow Bard suggests that it's not a dog. It you've got a cannonball following you, <laughs> and, cannonball with and when you warp, you're pulling a Munchausen move. Got it. But it's they're all all the all the valuable stuff is stationary. You know those games are rigged, right? It's just gonna drop the doll. No, 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 no. Ah, yes. <laughs> They actually simulated it screwing you over for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Ah, screwed. You lose. Yeah. I got it! <laughs> it has to have a little flashlight built into it from, from how it how the shadow behaves. Yeah, it, it, it shine light on Yoshi doll. When it's it had showing it. you the exact spot, yeah. All right. All right. Don't screw up. I don't know how much that rupee's worth, so I'm not gonna go for it. I think that's a twenty, but what? 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 Bull! Bull! I had that. <laughs> Last time I played this, I got both first try. <laughs> I'm being, I'm being rigged. Ah. <sighs> uh... That was painful. 
The first game you ever owned, huh? Hmm. Good question. No idea. I don't know what idea. the first game I owned was. I remember when the original Mario and the original Zelda were like the only games in the world. You're probably an NES game. Then there was, uh, yeah. When I, I was nine years old, I bought a Super Nintendo. It was the first real purchase in my life that I remember. $109. Years of savings wiped out. <laughs> I was always really freaking good at saving money. Still are. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. That's not gone away. <laughs> I'm, I'm the same way. I just save. But yeah, no, it's also, it's also the best purchase I made in my life. I've never regretted that one. The SNES, Worth man. Worth every penny. The SNES is just one of Nintendo, the golden age of the video games. That console has just so many titles I love. Um, I think the Switch is really the second returning of the golden age. Dragon Quest Monsters. I haven't played that one. The NES and the SNES and the Switch, I think, are Nintendo's best consoles. And 64 is okay. GameCube's okay. Got good titles and stuff, but it's really, really hard to fight with the, these three consoles with what they have. You're like, oh, I could return her dog, but I'm going to keep it. And I'm, I'm mainly referring to first-party titles, obviously. Um, hmm. The Switch has infinite third-party titles on it that no other console previously did. It's, it's, get, it's getting at them again. Yeah, well, it, it, I don't remember this guy being a monkey man. I'm sorry, that mustache is just, just terrible. <laughs> yeah. Um, apparently this was added by a guy who really liked fishing. He's just like, I'm putting this in there. It's like, what? Well, okay. So you Holy look at, crap, it's the same thing. So if you look at the bottom left of the screen, what do you see? Something. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, do you know how to make the ink sink faster? No, I don't think you can. You need the one over there with a piece of the heart in it. But, um... I'm it going... looks like it's exactly the same fishing game. Might be. I don't know what that is. Is it a boot? Oh! Yeah, the, the fish will attack. I told, I told you, I need several. That is a You're bottle. gonna need to catch all the fish. The little ones are worth five. Each fishing attempt costs costs ten. The big ones are worth twenty. They're lunkers, and that one's got a heart in it. So the only way to do it is just to fish out the whole like but whatever you do don't catch the last fish because he'll end the game when you've caught the last one oh there you go crazy go put oh wow that was eat oh no 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 get him faster harder i'm a bit scared wow that play. fish is as big as you are Twenty-three, not twenty. Oh, set you up with a new lure. What? Yeah, get lures and stuff. They tweaked what? everything a little bit. Uh, mark the okay. You mean it didn't have the piece of heart in it? God, who cares about lures? There's only five fish in the world. So if I get the, if I get that lunker. No, 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 no. Ignore it, ignore it. No, no, you need to get rid of that one. Get rid of all of them. No, that one won't mess with the rod. It's just the one at the bottom will. It's a crappy fish. Just like you. It's small. <laughs> I got drink root from that. I love the rupees. What? He gave you a positive value for it? Yay. What? I thought for sure I was going to lose money on it. I'm like, I don't want to lose money on these fish. It had a piece of a heart. You got two pieces of a heart out of this. That's crazy. That's awesome. So I'm going to aim for the lunker. And that, after that, I'm going to get the bottle. Because yeah, the, other, the middle fish, fish will leave me alone. Just Might as well fish the whole lake out and see if he does something for that. I could do that too. Hey, Fatso, food. You don't need no fancy lures. Push faster, push harder. 
Yeah, I, I, I feel if you push too fast, it breaks. <gasps> what? Yeah. What? Yeah, no, that was always in the game. If you push too fast, it breaks. So I, I, I fought too hard. I don't, I don't remember that ever happening. Where's really... the little itty bitty one from? We well, came in to replace the one I lost. The monker has gone, but. Hmm. And you have a minnow here, a goldfish. I'll give you uh, a half a rupee for it and throw it back. Oh crap, they're infinite. They're actually respawning. They're infinite. Oh, did they make it in? There, maybe. Yes, never mind, you can't fish it out. Huh. Huh. Changes are made, changes are made. And you could just infinitely make money. In the original game, if you fished every fish up, you ended up with a net positive of five. If you could just get the two big ones, you could snag 20 rupees, but it would, was really a waste of your time. Yeah. And they were, they were a pain in the ass to get. A... Oh, shoot. Dang it. No, you gone and done it. I did, it wasn't intending. Well, it's closer. I was, trying, I was trying to get the lunker, and I missed. Well, you have 21 rupees left. Ignore it. <laughs> loot Ignore box, it. Lo lore, lore loot boxes, <laughs> if EA made this. Oh, no. Don't get them ideas. Go. Well, Ubisoft got a hold of Mario for their Mario Rabbids, so why not? We can let uh, we can let EA make the next Zelda game. A tiny green fish. You're mine. Shit! Ah, damn it! I was so close. I got both of them last time. So easy. all right, just go for the thing now. Go for the bottle before it comes back. Push it with enough strength. Now you gotta deal with this. No, no. <laughs> Get yeah, out of here. No getting out of that. Hurry it up and fling it back in before the lunker comes back. So close. It's halfway. It's halfway. This is the you end. Could, you could do that? That sounds amazing. I really loved the Iron Boots and Twilight Princess. They were amazing. What are you doing? Um. Don't catch another cheap cheap. I'm not trying to. I just didn't do it quite far enough. Well. The Lunker's back. Dang it. Lunker, get out of here. It's a minnow. Gotta catch them all, I guess. Even the tiniest thing, and he'll only take one rupee in the deal. You know, clearly I'm in the wrong line of work. I should just be renting people fishing poles. Go for the bottle before it remembers that it should be in this game. <laughs> That's a great comment. You're not going to catch the funker? It always gets away. Oh, yeah, there you go. Run, run, what? run! <laughs> dig it! Dig it! That fish is a dick. Mm -hmm. All right, this is your last throw. I'm so close. If you go for the lunker, he'll get away. I'm going I'm going for the green lunker, the small one. That won't help you. Oh, I thought it was going to be worth that fair amount. No, it's too small. It's going to be worth very little. All Not right, enough. Right. You just get another throw. Why does it He's far me? enough away, he shouldn't catch it. Now wait. Go! No, 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 A fairy bottle! This is a 20 minute episode in your Let's Play. This is the only 20 minute episode we'll put Fight for the Bottle. <laughs> That'll just be his thing. 
he, he made off massive profits off of me. He took all your money and all your fish. You got a bottle. I got a bottle out of it. And this. you got the better end of the deal somehow. Because <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm creative with that bottle. You know, one day Link is going to go to like a bottle factory and he's just going to walk out with like 50, load them with fairies, and then it won't matter what happens to him in life. Yeah. I really appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. You're such a nice boy. How can I ever repay you? I know. I think the monkey would run away if you had Bow Wow. Yeah. I think that was actually what you had. Richard won't even talk to you and give you the quest. To get the golden he won't? Leaves too. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I think the monkey also runs away. You get a reward from Madam Meow Meow. Yep. Dot, dot, dot. Lucky! <laughs> Link, your taste in women is somewhat questionable. His, his taste in breaking people's pottery is also... <laughs> You know, he, he just, he's a weird person. How old are you exactly, Link? <laughs> Good question. Um, in, in the art with a book, they're always depicted as being much older than they look. Marin is, is, is always going to be so much better than Zelda. Why isn't she in Smash Brothers? Why isn't she in anything, ever? Will you give me that Yoshi doll to my baby? Thank you. You're indeed a generous person. I'll give you this in the return. A ribbon. In the original game, it didn't say a ribbon. It just said a, and then it just showed you the image. You're like, what is it? A bow tie? It's, this was just the, the, the RPG mechanic. It's like like the, the bad RPG 3 just rub items on items going, what do I do? One Talk of the to pillows every NPC. is not straight. One of the kids didn't make their bed proper like that. How do you put all the beds together like that? Very you have to carefully. crawl over everyone else's bed to get to yours. Uh, there oh, was I have to go to the calm. restroom, so I just have to get up and walk on all my siblings. I think this is the dream shrine. Yeah. But I think that's for later. I think you need the, the Pegasus boots before I go in there. Something like that, yeah. Uh, so, now to... I know you're happy to see me. Quit eat my sword! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Chew the end off. <laughs> Did I get now? How am I supposed to save Hy uh, this kingdom, Colokan Island? Makeup, jewels, dresses. I want it all. Oh, that ribbon. I need it. We trade it for my dog food. Sure. For my lucky. <laughs> well, here's your dog food. So now, you, now it's you've... full of juicy beef. So I guess, like Minnie Mouse, we now have a female chain shop confirmed. Uh, by accessory details. <laughs> I forget what the TV trope for that's called. Informed details or something like that. Hmm. Ah, when I get the Pegasus boots, I can ram this. Ram it! And so you know who to give the dog food to, right? Clearly. You know, since it's an exact scene for scene remake, I'm like, you know, I see no reason to release my, my play of the original anymore. <laughs> I was going to release them, but it's like... This is literally, like, in every way, an exact remake. Yeah, well, if you have more commentary and stuff you had on your own, just go for it. It's fun. Nah, we're, I think we're good. So, yeah. We have so chat. That clearly, improves it. we give dog food to an alligator, because of course we do. Well, this was just surprises, you know? You, you, uh, you, when you're a There's kid, no logic to it! He just surprises you with this. Well, it's full of juicy beef. For heaven's sake. sake, man! Give that to me! It doesn't say... Oh, the, the original game would tell you he's hysterical! What do you do? Just eats all the metal, everything. Like, that that can't yeah. be good for you. That was great. I know it's not a fair portrayal, but here's some bananas! At least the bananas go to monkey... But yeah, no, just, just, you know, like you're thinking, going, I got dog food. Do I give it to an chain chomp? Do I give it to a dog? I see those foxes outside. Maybe the fox. No, no, no. You got to go down to the beach and talk to an alligator, clearly. OOC? What's OOC? Out of character? An out of character let's play? No, no, no. So. That's going to be the name of some sort of let's play channel. 
some like, since it channeled abbreviates to OOC. Well, that's how they are. <laughs> but it was an aluminum can, not 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 iron. <laughs> you must have had an aluminum deficiency. Oh, Ocarina of Time. Oh, okay, yeah. Game yeah, like I said, I haven't really, like, yeah, I don't even remember. Yeah, no, people throw a bunch of is. acronyms at me. I get lost after a while. I'm just like, oh, yes. Um, P2VWQTXTS. Acronyms sure. are for people who are in the know of whatever it is. Uh, yeah, Breath of the Wild, uh, BOTW. Yeah. Uh, people love that one. And it's like, every once in a while, if you're not in context, it catch you after guard, you're like, what? Is that a typo? Is that a word? What am I looking at? All right. So time to head over to Richard. Yes. Got a cave over here. Um, some obscure NES game. I think there's a piece of heart in here. Maybe it's just rupees. Yeah, it's just rupees. Oh, well. Those are good, too. There's a piece of heart in the corner. There definitely are a lot more of those. Uh, yeah, there's tw uh, 20 hearts total on this, rather than the 14 that used to be. Alright. I think I messed this up. I think you messed this up, but you get that heart. Alright. You here, you here. You here. da 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 it's still beating heart. Frank, is that you? Only no! a fourth of one. Yeah, I still like the video with the uh, Link in the Pottery Shop and the guard standing outside. They're just flinching and hear all the pots smashing. And then as soon as Link steps out, he just quickly fixes it all. There was, uh, who who was it? Was it Freddie Wong or Corridor Digital? Somebody did one of those I... with the uh, shop. I, was it Lindsay Sterling who went in and smashed all the pots? I think it was Lindsay Sterling. Yeah, I think she. I think she was working with uh, somebody at the time. God, Freddie Wong used to have the greatest videos, like the one where he inserted himself in the Twilight trailer. That oh, oh just, man, that was brilliant. <laughs> just a, even the weird the ball machine, the blue ball machine. Yeah, that. The, God, he he, I don't know. He just used really to cool make great videos. stuff, yeah. Well, then he started teaching, and teachers just aren't cool. <laughs> yes, obviously that's you, the uh, you can You can quote me on that one. <laughs> Don't know why you'd want to, but you can. All right. Hmm. There was um, also a Lynx crossbow training for Ocarina of Time as a separate, sold as a separate game, weirdly. So here he is. Yep. In all his glory. It's not quite what I imagined him looking like. You know, by looking him at and his frogs. Well, it's, it's, it's actually from a game. That's what he looked like in the game. Oh, what game is that? Oh, uh, some obscure game here where everyone Hold on, was I turned, have to do the voice. He was, everyone was turned into frogs in that game. I don't know what game that is. My servants went berserk and I was forced to flee my villa. So... You're looking for something, are you? I may just have what you're after. But first, I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle little when I he, fled. Little does he tell you there's five. It makes it sound like there's one. Smashing! Uh, to tell you the truth, there are five leaves, and I want them all. Uh, okay, you'll need to do some digging, so uh, go, go buy a shovel. Are you off then? Well, good luck. I wouldn't. I would get them myself, but I wouldn't get my hands dirty. You said something if you talk to him again. The <laughs> <laughs> wink's all like, ah! <laughs> just pressed his face on the door frame and did that. I'm not afraid. I just decided to uh, wait at home. Mm, yes. that, that's what uh, all brave people say. Mm, yes, that's what you do with yes. your pottery. Get out of the way! <laughs> ah! Frogs. About to have frog legs. He just keeps frogs. I I, I had no idea he was from a game. It was just this it's weird, the, this this weird, like, nobleman with frogs. It's a, it's a, if you get bored, like, it's a fun video talking about all the cameos. 
Um, like the guy who writes the letter in the top left corner? Yeah. That guy's from Sim City. He always kind of looked like the SNES Sim City mayor. Yep, that's guy. him. That's ah. right. They have the same name. Oh. So watch him drown. You ready? Okay. This is this is this is safe for see, work. I played Sim City on PC. When you watch, so. when you watch kids drown, this is what you want to see. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Only mildly disturbing. <laughs> mildly. Would we'll watch again. <laughs> Careful, there are things. Yeah, and you can watch. If you have had chain chomp, there are things in those holes. Yeah, if I had chain chomp on me, he'll rip them out. It's great. I love chain chomp. Uh, now, now you're all in trouble. Come out if you dare. No, that's just a spider hole. It's full of spiders, infinite spiders. You don't have it. Oh, you do. Did I say Pikachu? I heard Pika Pika. Oh, Chi Chi. I... That is a Pika Pika. This is what? a Pikachu. The rum your rumble kit killed your save file? Oh, that is horrible. Irony. Death by irony. Here comes all the monkeys. Yeah, this makes me think of Yoshi's Crafted World. Uh, See, I that. said that the green that the green cat should have been Luigi, but Snyder seems to think it's Mario. I don't know why. Green cat? Green hat. Oh, oh I think you said cat. I was like, what? I understand Link, but where'd cat come from? All right, time to sneak into that fortress loudly. Green Link is swinging your sword. Look, do you just want to have your whole villa back? I mean, we might as well. We're going to kill everything this in is, here. This is going to be my vacation home. No, I don't want it back. It's full of blood now. <laughs> Good. It's sticky and gross. Ha. Let's do the Zelda. Ha. I mean, it's basically like a dungeon in and of itself, just kind of smallish. Well, it also, you just have to do weird things, like nothing tells you, I should take this rod and lop it at the tree! Yeah, and then kill a bird. Yeah, I don't know how I found all these gold leaves either. <laughs> <laughs> They're just, you just had to wander around the place until you had them all. Yeah, um, and it's two in the yard. See, mo see, this is this is gonna drive modern gamers crazy. They're all gonna have to use guides because they're modern gamers, and they're like, "Where's the hand holding?" It's like, no, you're supposed to sit in the back of your parents' car, and you've got nothing else to do, and you're stuck for hours, and you don't know what to do in this place. But doggone it, <laughs> you're gonna figure it out. I wish you had bombs. Oh. Oh, ah, dang it. <laughs> he got you good. Okay. Get out of the way. You need a ranged attack, man. Look, it's a pentagram of bombs. You're screwed. Okay, I can't swap the bombs back at him. It's a pentabomb. Charge your sword at least. No, it, it slows me down. I need the mobility. That's why I kept getting hit bombs you to begin with. You could try sprinkling powder on him. Okay. I don't think... I don't, I don't think he's gonna go down. I think he's healing every time. Oh, I, I'm wrong. I am very wrong. I just need healing now. Healing badly. The link is uh, lost limbs in every bush. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Got one heart. Yeah. This was the last area I did earlier, and this boss wrecked me hardcore. See how patient and smart you were as a child? Messed that up big time, didn't you? I blame the school system. 
I don't know how, but it's their fault. I'm sure of it. Everything's their fault. Yes. Hey, three out of five. So far, three out of five have been murder-related. So. Yeah, we're just we're bloodening up the place. We're making it look nice, painting it red. Ooh, that's a bad scenario. Jump over him. I can't jump with the shield out though. Aggressive guy. He just he just. Arr, 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 arr. I'm like, calm down, dude. It's just me. Time to open up the front door. What say? Front door open. Smashing. Sounds like the gate. Oh, you don't need that message. So if you're Richard? gonna actually pan and show it, you don't need to say it. So where's Richard? It's, the doors are open. It's clearly safe now, right? Um, let me see. I don't have any bombs, so I can't do that yet. Hmm. Actual factory worker. You know that? A good, a good profession. That. Screen transitions. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> screen transitions. Kind of nice, isn't it? <laughs> sometimes they use them, sometimes they don't. Yeah, in this area they decided to use them. This is what he calls a villa. Once again, this was a weird in Game Boy, but now you can actually see the, clearly the pot on the door, but still you won't think, oh, I need to throw a pot at this. <laughs> it's just it's just random shit, the villa. And now I have bombs. Oh, not a really a big event made of it. Oh boy. The first boss of the Super Nintendo game. Oh, okay, maybe. Pumped up. You, you're not gonna jump? Oh, that what I supposed to do. Shit. I don't know. I think you're right. I, could, I just got wrecked by him. Yeah, that's definitely working really well. Because if you try to dodge him, he, he just has impeccable aim. Well, you need one more leaf. Yep. I knows where it is. And yeah, yeah just, there's another boss here. Just really cool. This, I, I, like, once again, this is why it's one of my favorite Zelda games. No other Zelda game did this. If they did this, they would be awesome. But this, like, they they, they could have put this in Breath of the Wild. It's just an area. <laughs> it would have been really cool. I would have been down for it. Yeah. Um, just a whole bunch of miniature shrines and stuff. So, do you remember the, where the last leaf is? Where's the last leaf? Oh. You have one bomb. Oh, shoot. Didn't oh okay, yeah. You blow it and then he pops out. Da, 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 da. Kind of random, but really cool. But at least yeah. that one had bombable tiles, so you had some idea of what to do. Yeah. I just love jumping. Well, I mean, once you get the, the feather, like, of course, you're never going to stop. You go slightly faster when you jump, it seems. Especially because of slopes. Um, and grass. Grass slows you down. Then just like, jump, point, point. Boink. <laughs> so a little bit further, and I'm caught right back up. Oh, dang it, I'm down here. Let's see if we can remember what comes next. I'd only gotten through up through Mage bottle. Hage. Huh? The hedge med, uh, hedge maze. I, That's what's up next. I'd only gotten up through bottle grotto. Yeah, you were. You were lazy, Hadrix. <laughs> All right, I got your five gold. I leaves. was too busy with the horrors of Factorio. Ah, traits bien. I see you've recovered all the leaves. Now, now move, the... move the statue, and uh, you'll uh, find your reward. Like, make me do the work. Like, could excuse me? Could you move the statue? I would, but I'd get my hands dirty. Best let the la leave the labor to those who are. The laborers. Born to it. <laughs> of 
Very difficult puzzle there. It's, it's very complicated. So many moving parts. I almost didn't solve that one. But what do you do with it? Eat it. <laughs> yeah. I'm at this point, I think I have enough for another quarter heart at the shrine. Yeah, I really wish they had made a couple of classic Zelda dungeons. Just just the outlines of them in caves in Breath of the Wild. It would have been so cool just going to the first dungeon from Zelda 1. Yeah, that would have been... Yeah. You wouldn't have even had to put anything much in it. Just, just the fact that it was there. You can just jump. There's no reason to, to play fair in this stupid maze. Well, it's so much easier to cut bushes now. In the Game Boy is tedious. This game keeps it so much faster. And yeah, I need a hook shot to get that. Is it double wide? Yeah. You need, uh, no, no, you need, uh, Pegasus boots and jump. Ah. Dig here. You can't tell me what to do, owl statue. What? I wasn't digging quite right. I can't think I can't remember how to dig. I'll just swing the shovel over the dirt, right? Like... I'm still loving just the bracelet being equipped permanently, so I don't have to sit there. <sighs> yeah, it's it. I, I think the streamlining is brilliant. That was the number one improvement they made. Yeah. The less dialogue, less Al going. Please, do you need me to repeat this again? And <laughs> accidentally hitting it where you've been tapping it for like 30 minutes, like. Ar, 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 ar. Ow! Oh, I'm gonna eat you for dinner! Oh, don't we repeat the message? Please, no! Oh, no, yes, oh boy, starting back from the beginning. <laughs> Ow! You get frustrated and try to skip and get it again and again. I, I could get, I would get caught, I think the most I've been caught in an owl cycle five different times. That was a wow. I just was that frustrated. I'm like, arr, 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 arr. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> They say they just moved the owl asking if you want to hear it again. Take a take a take a note related to you know what. Oh, up up secret seashell. Yep. You know the spot. You, you, nope. you might say it might stand out just a little bit. Wow, uh, the digging in the original would always dig. There was no missing. It would always dig on a tile. Well, because there's a tile-based system, so you're always on a tile. Yeah. This one, the tiles are a bit off, and you can be partially on a tile. I, I've coded both when I was doing game design, and I know the I, I know the advantages and disadvantages of both. This gives you more free movement, but uh, makes your movement less precise. Oh, there you go, key cavern. Don't don't forget, one of those pots has to hit a door. It's coming. It's coming. For good measure. Now I have all the bombs I could go want. Go to the other direction. Oh, not north. Okay. Go to the other direction. It's gonna jump in that direction. Oh yeah. Oh, hey, there, there is yet. another one of those. All oh, right. Oh, this is the Pegasus Boots Dungeon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want to get this. Oh. The bomb bombs. Sort of. Ow. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Is this the one with the Stalfos boss? I think it is. No, that's Dungeon 5. You have to fight it three different times. Oh, okay. That's later. Ba -ba -ba -ba. What a boss this was. Um, I think it's the eyeball. You have to ram it. Okay. Because this is definitely the Pegasus Boots dungeon. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, enemies in chest. <laughs> Gotta love that. It almost could be got worse. me. It could have been a mimic. So, I it... wonder what wall I bomb. Or maybe that's the staircase that appears. No, I think it. you have to kill that enemy. You have to kill it, but I have to have the, this Pegasus boots to ram mm -hmm. through the rocks. So yeah, the staircase will appear there. Or a chest or something. Something will appear there. I love the dungeons. This is so, just some of the best designed dungeons in the Zelda franchise. Hmm. Oh, I got can't, both at once. You can't. It's only gonna be. It's gonna overwrite the previous. I think they did stack. No, they don't stack. Well, they didn't used to, but I think they did. No, no, they didn't stack. 
It would be too much power for <laughs> one man to handle. <laughs> I wish they did, because it, like, it's not often that you're going to get both. Don't know why, but you needed the orange. You can go back upstairs and grab a chest. Mm. Whoa! Never mind, put it back. Put it back, Link. Put it back. Bad. Alright. Yeah, 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 the text on them. That We were talking about that earlier, how I started skipping the acorns and the pieces of power. I just didn't want to put up with the text. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Ah! Get it! Get it before it falls! Ah! <laughs> Actually, it looks like it would have been an infinite loop there. They took that into account. Yeah. Well, it's amusing when it would fall. You could try a bomb. There's nothing in here. I don't know. No, I mean, it would go down the track it towards him. Yeah, I need to equip. I need to get, I need, oh, no, 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 no. Close. Oh, come on, that was a killing blow. Yeah, nothing. But yeah, since they get the, I since I get the Pegasus boots, I don't need to. I'm not use all my bombs. Put the shovel Waste back on. Waste of good bombs. Oh yeah. Need up my bomb capacity. Oh man, that camel dungeon. That was the moment that, like, before that, I was kind of enjoying the game, but that was the moment where I was like, "Holy shit, this game's amazing!" Because that was the first one I encountered, and it was just, whoa. Hello. Just, just brilliant the way everything, just, yeah. Playing with the dungeon itself, with its space. Alright, we've got to bomb the wall to the south. Can see nice hero pointing you. <laughs> and probably a tip if you talk to the owl. Oh, yeah, did you not notice the arrow pointing south? I don't know, you might need to ram it. I think it's a bomb. Again with the Pegasus boots. The Pegasus butts. I need more bombs. Sorry, I convinced you to waste so many. Come on, pots. Yes! One. One bomb. <laughs> you see that door? That door trolled me. Oh, yeah, so there's a walk near it. It closed on me. It's like it just knew. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not ready for you. I do not have the bombs for you. <laughs> I always thought those were strange looking to dongos. Sliding by. You will not stop me from the Triforce of Power. Yeah, I better run. This little slime dots behave like the uh, mini Goombas that the flying Goombas would drop in Mario 3. I wish they had kept those, because those were cool. I don't know why they did away with that enemy. No, 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 Yes! Like that. Yes! Exactly! Bombs? You want them? There was a chest. Yeah. At least the ch chest stays, stays bomb. That's, that's one of the nice things. It made sure, like, if you light fires, they stay lit. Mm. Um, if it's part of a puzzle. No redoing puzzles infinitely. 
Okay, now I can probably solve that. So some shortcuts built in. Later you randomly find a dungeon with giant elephants. The hint that you need to bomb through some war rooms. Nice. So you have to remember that later. Well, they chuck the bombs from up here. Um, I don't have a way to chuck bombs. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, it's just your hint that think about the dungeon and remember. That one doesn't stay done, huh? No. Nope. Alright, go for the, bo the two bosses. Yep. You got this, man. <sighs> Hello. Just don't let him eat you. You are strange, Dodongo. They're trying to eat each other. Okay, it actually has a period of time before it opens its mouth again. Didn't you know, used to have that, that's new. Yeah, they have a behavior. Coming on north. Nope. Why would you put it there? I wasted it. Alright, right, you've got needed. two shots. Alright. Come here. Yeah, come here. Got him. Pop. Okay, that was the mini boss. <laughs> yes! I, I didn't even think of him as a mini boss. <laughs> I just thought him as just like harder than normal enemies. Oh, okay. Yeah. This might be the Pegasus boots. I think it is. Aha! L. Try going for a long jump! <laughs> the animation is a little weird, though. It was cute. It's just absolutely <laughs> adorable. His legs are just like, Wah! <laughs> That is awesome. That's like, my legs want to move. I can't control them. You open a lock over there. Sorry! I couldn't help it! You just were in the way! It's like the, it's like shoes that are cursed to make you dance forever. <laughs> Except these are these are charging shoes. I like that interpretation. The long jump. Now, if they threw the spears, they come running up the cliff edge like Did you see that, George? <laughs> they didn't they saw it, but the they didn't believe it. Just jumped. Oh. I got the boss key. Cool. I just need a bunch of regular keys, yeah. Maybe well, I like the combination where you had to have a bunch and just like, ha, huh, found the. No, no, oh, no, 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 cheater! You can't do that. It's supposed to bounce around all fat. They just make that grin all of a sudden. That was great. I love that grin. Just like, ha, you thought it was normal. Nope, nope, nope. Shit, got me. I got cornered. And if the player was remembering, gotta bomb that wall to the left. Yep. I wouldn't have let you forgot. Yeah, because Breath of the Wild is one of the more recent games that like, you actually have to think about the dungeon a bit. Uh, it's a cartoon with the Goomba Civil War where they, well, actually, they, they, they went against Bowser and tried to take over. It was kind of cool. I don't think that the uh, animator ever finished the series, though. Hmm. I think he got sidetracked by making Minecraft Mario videos or something. Um, I don't remember that one. I just I just think of all the YouTube poops we saw that were really strange. Yeah. Um, with cool ideas and just really epic and weird battles. So you need at least one more, if not two more keys. And I do like the transitions where they kept them. Two more keys. Yeah. Oh, oh I got the boss key. Okay, okay, okay. I was starting to think I had, so I had to install a normal key. 
Nope, you need two normal keys. Open up your map. <laughs> right Failure. Okay, so you can see all the key, all the chests. All right, I gotta get back to the first area. Yep. Oh yeah, you had to charge at that one. Yeah. Right, this is the key dungeon. Key cave. Just one of my favorite, because just the mixture, just this cool little block in the center going, ah, do you, do you have it all figured out? You think you do. this you've already got the pegasus boots what could be in there key or a map oh, no, no. i already have a map key no 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 okay okay yeah in case i didn't miss any room but i think i've seen them all why is that and the whole dungeon the key that's neat why is that in a giant chaser chest oh no there's a regular size treasure chest. i'm sorry for some reason that looked like a large treasure chest to me i think it's because they put it on a pedestal my mind was just expecting it to be Yep, you need pause too. Because they kept the tra skin transitions for its almost done this entire dungeon. Mm -hmm. They felt it was important for this dungeon. Yeah, and I, I do agree. A lot of it feels nice. They're making a shining too. Oh, no, no, go back, go back, go back. What are you doing? One second. Who's doing that? But no! I got trolled! Yes, why did you do that? I, I, I thought it was a key. I always what wanted to have infinite Legos. What am I doing here? Now I do. Keep going. Oh, right. Yes, right. That is the direction you must travel. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you failed. <laughs> Eat that. Alright. So apparently they just like it. They just want to start adapting Stephen King's works again. No, no, go through the portal. Be lazy. Be lazy. You need one more key. Ask the map. Hmm. Try B1. Try the, the next floor down. Um, oh, oh, uh, okay. How do you get down there? Well, that's not it. That's, uh, no. I, uh, don't it's know not how that. LR. There oh. it goes. So. I, I, I'll go through this door, but I think I. Maybe that's a mini boss fight? I thought no, I just got another key. That's just a, yeah, that's just gonna have a key in it. Somewhere I missed a key. It'll make a tone if you went to the room because you have the compass. It'll go doot 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 doot. So we'll just, we'll just slowly walk through the cave. And, yeah. But nope. 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 Fun when you miss one. Oh. The compass showing you the chests and making that noise was a huge upgrade. The original game is just like, here's a spot on the map the boss is in. Well, how does that help me? Good luck. <laughs> Alright, time to get out. Maybe they'll remake the Langoliers next. Uh, I heard, uh, uh, back to Holly. Oh yeah, you had to ram this guy. It's just a thwomp. What did he do to deserve that? Uh, but uh, That's what we need in Smash Brothers. A thwomp. I want to play a thwomp. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, what I've always wanted is a Metroid. I want to play as a Metroid. It would be so crazy with its life-draining grapples. Yeah, with ropes would be cool in this game. Yeah. Uh, but, uh... 
Okay, get her. Um, I was gonna say something. I forgot. What do these bats feed on? Rock. Each other. Each other. Another key just in case you wanted one. Oh, you did miss one door. <clears throat> I don't know. Nah, 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 you can't find me. <laughs> yeah. How will you ever find him? What's he do if you don't? Yeah, it's the slime. Keeps knocking him down, I guess. Okay. Keep killing this little slime so you get the high score. <laughs> yeah. We weren't supposed to do that. Now he's unhappy. Not quite right. There we go. Ah, oh, come on. Doing it right. Oh, okay. Keep cutting him in the middle. Oh, in the eyes. In the eyes. Now go. Alright, there we go. Teamwork. Well, teamwork ain't gonna save you now. Mucus membrane keeping him safe. I have poor timing for the thud. Jump! Got him. Okay. Whew. Close. See, now the windfish can dream safely because you're killing all his nightmares, right? You got rid of its mind eyes. So. Right? Music's nice, I just prefer the original. <laughs> hmm. I'm not going to disagree on that. We're just biased, grew up with it. There's something about the chip tune that sounds nice and distinct. Vampires that only feed on psychics is actually kind of an interesting idea. But wouldn't it be a mind flare? No, those just eat brains. Drowsy? Uh, it is hidden in the waterfall. So finally Link won't drown anymore. Da -da -da -da. But having the, the uh, Pegasus boots is great for a third power dungeon. Like, right off the bat... Um, You've got all the movement abilities. The whole world's open to you now. Lift rocks, run fast, and jump. Those are your first three powers, and they're like the best. They're, they're all movement exploration related, so now that the whole world is open to you, you can explore everywhere. Yep, now on, from now on, you're just going to get, you know, hook shot. Mm. Well, hook shot's good too. So it's time for me to go blow up the pig. Yeah. What you say? Yes. Bombs for the piggy. Let's see if I can find where it is. Uh, I was. Uh, I think it's down here to the right. To the left. I don't remember. I think it's right down. Here. No, 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 no. It's it's more up. More up. I think. 
Oh, right, I have the dash boots. Don't worry. I'm sitting there still doing the jump, and I got the dash boots. It's okay. It's better than him rolling around on the ground everywhere. Like an ocarina of time. This is definitely not the right place. I'm just doing things do, as I'm do, passing do, by do. him. And that will let me out in the graveyard. Full of the restless dead. Don't run into that guy. That's a mistake. Link learned that one the hard way. I did, did realize I was in a cemetery. <laughs> Man, I would expect him to hate all the adaptations of his works. I actually never really read Stephen King much. Movies are rough with what they have to change. To well, make it it, fit. movies, yeah, well, really, I mean, movies, you can't just take a novel and turn it into a movie. You have to actually write a movie script out of it. The beats are different. Cause I think I think I think the thing the bomb is down around here, in the prairie area. Yeah, you went way too far north. Oh, the pacing, everything about a movie is structured different from how a, a novel. I mean, there's different ways to structure novels. I think but... the best hope for adapting a book into a movie is to have the author participate. If the author understands how to make a movie. Well, I didn't say necessarily write scripts participate a little bit and go I, I these think are it really helps. key moments yeah i think it helps a lot and the other thing is like the book is always going to be like Better. a thousand times the length of the movie yeah. not necessarily always better necessarily it's just really common but uh, like like there's there's a handful of movies that are like on par with it's the book. Hard Harry to, Potter one. It's hard to that adapt just... something. Yeah, you're getting in the right location. It's hard to adapt something, and if something is gr good enough to earn a movie adaptation, oh Mario, that's probably because it was one of the best books. I see you have a nice. Di I mean, Harry Potter's first book is really good, but the movie just captures the spirit of that book and <laughs> makes it. It puts it puts actors to those faces you accept and go, yeah, that's that's Harry, that's Hermione, that's that's Ron. That's Draco. Yeah, take my stick. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Well, I guess I, I would do that. I wouldn't stand so close to this. <laughs> Link knows better. He just said, like, you know what? I, I, I don't know you. It's okay. It's Mario. It's a beehive in a tree. He would climb inside of it and jump around. <laughs> you are you aren't wrong. Uh, now, um, think things I would have to, done to this game to change You're it. You're not sure how it happened, but take it. Um, I would like to, instead of bomb that, I would love to just ram it and open it up. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is, I have this nice jump, and there's these ledges you can fall down, and I'm clearly uh -huh. jumping higher than the ledge. Uh -huh. But I can't get up it, if I could find one to demonstrate. Uh, I was trying to do it earlier, and I was like, no! Come on! Game testers, you should know players want to do this. It gives Link more mo mobility. Should have just, just made the ledges higher so it was obvious you couldn't. Yeah, there it is. There's your pig. I looks just need like, a bomb. Looks less like a pig in this game, though. And more like a skull demon. <laughs> it's in the uh, mark on the map. You can go to the shop and buy it. What? Ah! What? What? What is all this? Memories. Of what's happened in here, all this stuff. All in I can case we want the owl's speeches, no wonder he doesn't ask to repeat. He put the repeat himself into your mind forever. <laughs> you will Lodged not forget. It, it will never. You'll so, never be rid there of it. it. Is, the a pin button. Oh my gosh. Well, how about that? Yeah, they borrowed some stuff. Uh, they added a handful of things from uh, Breath of the Wild in here that are just nice additions. Like, I, I, there's a reason I saw this, I'm like, you know what? I want this. The team cared. When the team cares, I care. Oh, I this... can't I can't really comment on the Harry Potter stuff because I didn't read the books. <laughs> um, I'm just talking about the first movie. The first movie was, wow. Well, there's 
like talking about it a whole bunch now. Okay, well, read out what they're saying. I can't turn and look. They ruined Ron and Hermione in too much of a good light. Also, Emma Watson was too pretty for Hermione. Ah. Ah. If you watch the movie, it's a critic. A movie, it's good, though. Always a critic. Always a critic. The first movie is amazing. I can't speak for the rest of them. I liked, I liked the first movie, the third movie, but then again on the books, I liked the first book, the third book, and the fifth. It seemed like all the even ones were cursed. And then, and then the, I did not care for the last book. Everybody dies, the book. <laughs> well, you're an author. You've been working for half your <laughs> life on a series. And it's like, finally, finally, it's the last one. I can finally kill them all. I hated all these characters so much. Oh, they killed one of the twins, and the twins, <laughs> the twins is half of the fifth book. Their cursed swamp, the, the, the shop that they own up with the uh, the reflecting spell. I mean, that's, that's, I don't even know. I don't know how Wizards didn't invent that. I'm like, come on, come on. This is basic stuff. This should exist. All right, hook shot. Yeah, I think that's a little bit too far to make the jump. Almost all the bro world is your oyster. Alright, I'm kind of down here. I'm just kind of wandering, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna have to turn around and go north because that's where the next. I need to see Mambo, I think. Hmm. Uh, and I don't remember where you. You need to get a fish key. Yeah. You need to get the in's mouth key. Oh, oh, go this way. You should be able to make a jump to that if you go down to the islands. Yeah. Oh, I, I think I, I just swam across. Yeah, I can't make that jump. Swam? Yeah. Oh. The swimming trunks. Yeah, okay, you're right. Trunks? Yeah, the Zora. The oh, flippers? Oh, sorry, sorry, the flippers. <laughs> I need to wear swimming trunks to swim. Otherwise, it's impossible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the trunks make all the difference. Uh, don't, don't ask what the... <laughs> I don't even take my clothes off. I just put the trunks on over them, <laughs> and suddenly I can swim. Uh, it's just, it, it's all mental. Oh, wow, that guy just defeated your Pegasus charge. He did. He just was like, nope, you shall oh. not pass. The seashell shrine kind of looks unimpressive. Whoa! Well, that was a surprise! What was a surprise? Hey, I'll tell you a secret! If you see a weird bowl all by itself in the middle of a cave, sprinkle some magic powder on it, man. Very ambiguous. Which cave? What bowl? It's a pretty good joke on the thing that lives in there. Oh. You're just a jerk. Hey, we should go to the forest and do that. Right. They're just lying everywhere, these seashells. How many have you got? Um, enough to get the first one, definitely. Well, let's hop in. What was a surprise? Yep, yep, hollow clank if it's a breakable wall. But they, they're clearly marked. They're clearly marked. Yeah, well. I'm the spirit of the mansion. I've been waiting for someone. One who can overcome the darkness. Probably more Harry Potter comments. Find the secret chief cells. And send well, them to better to kill your main care, care with a bang. And start a new series. They drag him on and on, well, only because you can make money of it. I'm just saying that the you should you should kill your characters, and end it, and then start some prequels that are missing second acts. Uh, we all love Fantastical oh. Beasts and Where to Find Them, don't we? Or you could, or you could do any number of other things. You know, like just say. It's time for a new Xanth novel. Yeah, Bink is still alive. Maybe you'll see him again. But now our main character is this dude. <laughs> and just keep making new characters. And the old ones are just alive in the world still. Ah, dang it. Ah! <laughs> the curse of the hole spawning right in front of it. Yeah, they definitely didn't give you the same grace period the original one did. I should have dragged you into the hole. <laughs> it should have. Um, Hedrix likes the fairy from Breath of the Wild here, just pulling you Oh, jeez, that thing. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I still have no bombs. You still haven't gone to the shop in town. 
Alright, I was hoping just to run into some. So I'm gonna see if I can hit the portal. And then port back. Buy some bombs! Alright, this is by the castle. There should be a portal nearby. Maybe I'm just endlessly going in circles. That does happen. Endlessly going in circles. That does happen to me. Sadly, the moblins don't drop bombs. Oh, hey, nice. Yeah, I was noticing that because they, they were that one dungeon with generous bombs everywhere, and then back over to the overworld, I'm like nothing, nothing, nothing. Nah. I'm like nothing. What's in that cave? I think I get up on top of there. Okay, let's be down there. More need for bomb. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Oof. Spared. <laughs> Spared. Okay, so portal. Portal. There you go. Portal. I'll be there in just a second. Well, let me activate it. It's the good old ghost house. All right. This is just everywhere. Just, I'm just tripping over them. Link's just getting. Yeah, there's a heart in that water. Yeah. Shame you don't know how to swim. No, no, try to jump, 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 charge over there. Can I? Do it. All right. I believe in you. <laughs> you might need to chop the bushes somehow. Yeah. I don't have me the measure to do that just yet. So I'm gonna jump across this way. Dang it! <laughs> Sora just smacks you in the back of the head. It's just like trying to leave? I don't think so. Oh, hey. Probably not a seashell. Back on the beach. We want bombs, not rupees. Oh, now I can buy lots of rupees. I got 500 of them. You can buy rupees? What do you use for currency? No, no I meant uh, buy bombs. <laughs> I have 500 rupees. Oh, right. Hello! Jerk. Dang it. Come on. He thinks he's Death Mountain. Ah! Come back here. I'm not done with you yet. More bombs. More bombs, yep. Endless things to bomb! Oh, your charges aren't in direct straight lines. You can move. Yeah, and it right wears that after point naturally. Once again, it'd be really nice if I could just jump up those ledges. I just want to go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What is that? <laughs> That is no. It's it's too much. You'll Let me in. Make, you'll never make Let the jump. Let me in. <laughs> oh, and now you wanted to see the apples, right? Here we go. I never watched. Well, I I haven't had television in like a decade and a half, maybe more now. I, I didn't see The Walking Dead. I didn't see Graham of Thrones. I didn't see... Any, like, like whatever it is, I didn't see it. Hey, Jerks has been blind. Um, he threw his eyes into woods. A great overreaction. Yeah. You're a dozen R's ahead of me. Dozen R's? Talking about a game we play. Ah. Yeah. He's he's way ahead of me. Crazy far ahead.
Dang it. <laughs> you determined to, uh... Yeah, we're gonna go get that rock. And we're gonna... Boop! Money. Nope, seashell. Seashell. Alright, to the rock! Rock cometh. One of my favorite things in this game. Yep, here. No, no, not there. Down, down the screen. I, I'm pretty sure it's this guy. No. Oh, okay, okay. Down the screen. That's just a hook shot thingy. Yeah. There! Sometimes, you know, just under a rock. I didn't like that guy. He's been living under a rock. So, should we take a lesson from Jojo and just use the bathroom here just to take, take a nice long <laughs> break? Hey, kids, you woke me from a fine nap! Thanks a lot! But now I'll get my revenge! Are you ready? I'll let you carry more magic powder. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, I'll let you carry more bombs. Are you ready? Looks like that tickle. <laughs> you deserve it. Now look at all that junk you have to carry. Take care. See you again. He knows. He knows we'll find him again. Ah, better than the shot. He strikes you with lightning, you carry more bombs. Shopkeeper throws lightning at you, you get ripped in half. You get renamed. Hmm. You're, you're branded. He that owns too. his soul. Like, he ruins your reputation forever. That takes some dual ones. You didn't watch Got Shame on You? You guys missed so much? Watch what? Oh, oh, Got Game of Thrones. Oh! Oh, right. At least I recognize that abbreviation. I had to think about it. I watch, yeah, I, I read a lot of fantasy novels, but Song of Ice and Fire, I just don't care to read. I'm like, nah, not that one. Doesn't sound like my speed. Uh, we're the Animu people. Uh, I've been on a 90s binge. Love the 90s. Oh, you were watching Photon earlier today. Ah, uh, Tenchi Muyo, Photon, Magic Users Club. Responsible Captain Tyler. It yeah, goes on yeah. and on and on. All right. So, time to bomb that pig. It's go. Cool. It's coming. That pig had it coming. It just maybe it's Ganon. Yeah. We don't see him anywhere else in this game. Good point. This is possibly the only Zelda game that doesn't have Ganon in it. Or, or One Zelda. of the nightmares. The, yeah, right, she's not here either. Oh, 60 of them. Jeez. I'm a little excessive there. No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's almost enough. I was expecting bam. Yeah, I know, and they also, D&D &D players don't appreciate it when you drop rocks on them either. I don't know what their problem is. Or they're traveling through a forest, and you attack them with bugs, and more giant bugs, and more giant bugs. No, they don't have treasure, they're just bugs! <laughs> and they poison you, and they cause stat damage! Dang it. Eat that bomb. This mountain is going to come down one layer at a time. You still had a hit point left when you crawled out of the forest. What are you complaining about? <laughs> Almost. Did a backflip over it. <laughs> I tried. Link, Link, <laughs> Link hits with style. This is pretty cool. Dang it! <laughs> Miramoto! I hear laughing eh, in the background. You need a little. It, you you just got um, five percent of a bow. So, so now now you know it's why it's a piece of a bow, okay? So now you know why in uh, Twilight Princess there was rupees everywhere, every chest, anytime, anything, rupees. This is the game that started that. 
<laughs> Color spraying your own party. Here it goes. The pig dies today. That's not far enough. I got it. You know, I never understood what the point was, because you could already you've already been on both sides of it when you blow it up. It's just a giant stone pig for no reason. Just sometimes you just you see it, it gets you angry, you gotta blow it up. Alright, so we need to figure out how to get into the waterfall now. Okay. Uh, not, uh, uh, okay, I can do the beach later. Why, wow, is right. there something on the beach? Yeah, there's a place to bomb, but it's not going to be anything big, probably. So, I guess we'll head north. North! We'll return when we have more powers. We're going to learn how to swim. Got a green apple there. Granny Smith apple. Special apple. I... I am not immune to hearing about these shows. I know that everyone was really liking Game of Thrones until the final season, and then everyone got mad and hated it. Um, apparently the author got thrown out and had nothing to do with the eighth season. And The Walking Dead, most of what I've heard about it was the um, video games, the Telltales. Apparently people really loved the first one, and then they figured out that it was all lies. And that it didn't matter what you did or chose. And so everyone went, well, shit. That was the whole point. <laughs> Never mind. And that was the sum total of my knowledge of those two shows. Right, oh, so. right. And nudity. I think I can cross now. Game of Thrones, not The Walking Dead, I hope. <laughs> no, okay. Still can't do that. I don't remember what to do. Can't walk on the steps. Well, let's just start heading uh, west. Go west, my son. I don't think I can go down there. Poked you in the face. Ah, uh, because I think I need trunks. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, if you, Still on the swimming trunks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you need the, the flipper. Uh, you can walk on shallow water, I think. Nah. Well, actually, maybe. Oh, but it has to be shallow. So, uh, uh, maybe Tautau Heights to get across. Love this song. <laughs> it's got two variations. Yeah, it's cool. Didn't like you, anyways. We did this cave earlier, but I don't remember what it led to. We're just running through it right now. I don't remember. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, out of here. It's gonna charge and be all cool like. Yeah, I got the charging now. Okay. So I think I'm. Oh, yeah, it pops also, like balloons. We could also do the dream cave. Yeah, they're a little bit weird. I thought they were just harder rocks. <laughs> yeah, I know. They were like crystal and they'd shatter or something. Oh so no, you huge. don't have a pineapple. You're right. So if I hop up there, but over here there's a switch or something. Waterfall, waterfall. The secret's in the waterfall. Okay. So I'm going to hit up here first. Is he fanning himself or going come here, come hither, come hither? I think he's saying come hither because he said he'd need help. Mountains later, and he, no, he no, kept he said his, he'd be lost in them hills. Yeah, he kept his word. It makes me think of a really spooky, terrible story about a lighthouse for some reason. I think Doctor Who would say that. Curse of Fang Rock. No, there was an actual historical thing. Um, there were these two guys. Let me see if I can get this story right. There were these two guys staying at a lighthouse, and everyone knew that they hated each other, and they were staying there for years and years, and then there was a storm, and it was real bad, and the seas were terrible, and it, and one of them got sick and died, and the other guy's like, everyone knows I hate this guy, they're gonna think I murdered him, I have to keep the corpse so that I can show there's no violence or anything, that he just died of natural causes. Well, you see, there was no place to put a body. It was a very tiny, tiny lighthouse. 
and you know they could he couldn't go anywhere because the, the there was you know the, just the seas were impossible so he kept the lighthouse going and he he fashioned a coffin for it and put it like just just outside mm-hmm. on the on the balcony well the re- waves came all the way up smashed it open so there's just this corpse hanging there uh stuck up in in like ropes and 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 on the railing looks more incriminating than ever <laughs> and he's there for like i don't know weeks months some absolutely absurd length of time so by the time people finally come the seas calm down enough and people finally come he doesn't talk anymore he's he's like completely crazy i think that they got most of it from like his diary entries or something he just he was mentally broken by this and then they find out like why didn't why didn't you come or well we did try several times captains tried to come earlier but there was a person up on the railing waving in the wind uh. like everything's okay <laughs> and you're like Oh my gosh, no. Like it's 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 like a way more harrowing story when you hear it out in full. It's, I right now you, it's comedic. I gave it's you amazing. like yeah, I gave you like the Cliff Notes version, but it's like really horrible. That's you're just the like, Captain Ahab. Come crew, come. Yeah. Now history is, is filled with messed up stuff like that. I I uh, internet help. Where am I going? We need the, the next key. All right, I'll cheat for you. I'll open None the walkthrough. I don't remember. Yeah, oh, well, we're running. This is this is just the world is open. You can explore all of it now. Time, almost all. Can you get to the second town yet? Or did you need the flippers for that? Um, I think the I sister the, city. I think I need the flippers for that. By the time I'm the fourth time passing Richard's place, we're in trouble here. Um, but I'm heading back to the beach is the idea, and I crap, yeah, I took the wrong turn. You'll get the boomerang in one of them, I think. Yeah, the boomerang's really good. Alright. Get out of here. I'm gonna just head through the town. Usually there's... Oh, you could call up... Call on a payphone before I look this up. Yeah, last time I did the payphone, he gave me no useful advice. <laughs> the guy you're calling is in the first town. Bring, bring, hello, it's me, old Trina. Ask me a thing about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. At the Yarna Desert, which is located south of the island, you will find something called the Angler Key. Okay. Oh, okay. There's the answer. We don't need to look it up now. Cultist Simulator. I've heard about that one. Everything's... I like Rock Simulator. Rock Simulator. Did he say southeastern? Uh, so. Um, go ahead. I'm just gonna go swing by the beach first. That bombable wall is there. Yeah, beach has sand, desert has sand. Same thing, right? You should get close enough. What's that kid doing hanging out with Marin? I just didn't like her. You can ask. Hello! She likes to stare at the ocean all by herself. Oh, yeah. I'm just a kid. Don't ask me. Yeah, but she's not. She's still there. So. Yeah, it's not yet. That's later. Okay. But yeah, I think their dialogue changes. Some of their dialogue changes between every event. Oh yeah, yeah. She has a lot to say. These are the best for prepping hearts. Okay. They also banish doctors. Yeah, yes, yes, they do. Doctors named Mario. There it is. Oh, almost passed it. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some dust on this, I guess. Ah, 
Oh jeez, I have a yeah. I've got. I honestly don't know what to do here. Oh, he'll he'll he's not here yet. Oh, I heard him. He's safe. He sounds. You you trade him for you trade the sh you trade an object for the boomerang. Ah, okay, okay. I usually give him the shovel. But you you still need secret seashells. So you'll probably trade him something else. The boomerang's great if you get the ch flying chicken. Because you can fly with a boomerang underneath you endlessly. If they kept that in. Anyway, um, I hope so. Um, yeah, no, there's a ton of games I've got that I haven't touched yet. Sometimes I feel really guilty about it, or ones that I own. Just, just, yeah. So I generally, any anytime anyone gives me a game these days, I always tell them, no, I, I don't know when I'll get to this, if ever. Because <laughs> I have so is. many. Where is the desert? I think it's somehow all the way. I think it's further east. Yeah. Southeast, so I'm going to try going this way. Well, this that is going to be that means I should be able to spot. get over here somehow. Yeah. How do I... A boomerang would do it for you. Bomb, shovel, feather. Try a bomb. It doesn't reach far enough. Oh, right. You can't throw. I keep forgetting. Are you sure you can't throw? Try the pick up and throw button. The one you're using to pick up pots. Okay, alright, I guess I, I keep trying to select it, and that's what I'm doing wrong. Um, old habit. Okay. There you go. I figured. But it was worth a shot. The fuse unlit. It's funny that they kept the holes like this instead of just making a, you know, big hole. Okay, there we go. I did it! All right, what have you been hiding from us? The seat, your seashell, most likely. I think probably right here. See you. Nah. Ah, I was so sure. <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I was here. The Punisher Netflix series? Uh, I don't have Netflix either. I kind of, I saw a little bit of Gotham and thought it was kind of good, but I, I've I've heard the later seasons weren't weren't season as good one as the, was amazing. Yeah, there was a there was a Flash and a Green Arrow one. I haven't seen either of those. Green Arrow season one's okay. Season two just goes. You know <laughs> have what? Have you watched everything? <laughs> yeah, season two just like we had a premise, but you know what? It's just not worth keeping it. I enjoyed, I saw a season of, what was it, we got that on DVD, the, the, the Blacklist. Blacklist, yeah, that one's amazing. Did you see the first part of season two with the Russian villain? He's amazing. No, I don't think I did. That's where I stopped. I don't know if Years it's... ago for Christmas, I was given the first season of House. I thought that was amazing, but I heard that the later seasons, they just made him too, too terrible a person. Mm, he, they did. Um, like, uh, it's, but that it's, the season I have is just just awesome. Season four, he just gets on drugs, and the police officer is hunting after him, and he just is lying and lying and coming up with worse and terrible. And he just makes himself out to be a monster, and like the cop's supposed to be the bad guy, but I'm like, no, no, this guy is just such an asshole, manipulated bastard. <laughs> like, uh... oh, maybe okay. that's what you needed. That's it. Hidden under a bush. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu Saves the World is actually a game I've wanted to play for years. The thing is, I want to play it all the way through, and, like, I just need to set the time, set aside time for that. Um, so, the Animal Village should be here. Yeah, the next thing I'm, it's, yep. So probably what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to go on this vacation. When I come back, it's I'm going to continue with the XCOM Probably between XCOMs, what you you know, I take breaks between each one. Um, so probably I'll do the uh, Mario Rapids Donkey Kong thing. Come on. And then maybe I'll do Cthulhu Saves the World after that, or uh, uh, on the next in between XCOMs. We'll we'll see. We're talking like like over a month in the future now. Not important. The mermaid statue. 
Where is it? Secrets are like water. They when come... it comes to bridges. Where's the mermaid statue? Good question. I guess I misremembered its location. I just need to breaking that crate. Don't store your precious goods in crates. Or pots. Or anything, really. Such a nice day. We need a song from Marin. What, what, what is this music? The song was always weird in this town. What? 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 This is basically Doggo's song from Undertale. It's purposely annoying. Except I kind of liked his sub theme. Well, because it was more obviously annoying, and it just eats the legendary artifact from you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it gave you dog hair, which was, if anything, more valuable. We may never know, because we didn't even get to know what that legendary artifact was. Just that it ate it. Because <laughs> it's just suddenly in your inventory. Like, what? Why? Why is this egg the annoying dog in my inventory? <laughs> that was great. Okay. Black Lagoon. I saw a few episodes of that one. It looked really good. Somehow I never did. Yeah, Z oh, I'm going to just play Xenonauts at some point all the way through. Cowboy Bebop. You know, I have a friend who, who will insist for all time that that was the greatest anime ever. Good. It wasn't bad. It, was, it, it, it had its moments that were great. Um, oh, bomb of a wall. I of course, I'm. There. Yeah, I, I, I liked. I, I really liked some of the the episodes that other. I, I kind of like the stupid episodes that the big hardcore fans like. No, that was a stupid one. The fridge. Yeah, the leftover, the evil leftovers, and the. Uh, uh, just, just almost anything with radical Ed being radical Ed was awesome. <laughs> Great character. <laughs> My compass is going off. There's something in this room. It appears to be a piece of heart. Throw a bomb. Oh. And then hook shot. You're right. Oh, I got the bomb part. So whoever's below there is gonna have, have a real bad day, <laughs> real fast. Yes, the next time you, the next time you're DMing and your adventure party's getting uppity, Link drops a rock down a hole above you. <laughs> Crunch. Crunch. <laughs> oh, that'll be uh, oh eighty six. <laughs> Only because I'm feeling nice. Next time, it'll be falling at terminal velocity. Yep, you're gonna have to bring Mar in here. Talk to the walrus. Make sure you trigger it. Um. And secure you. I should have woke him up. Okay. Now he's definitely triggered. I didn't look angry to me. You and your millennial humor. Bah! <laughs> Just puns. Endless puns. Nice place you got here. <laughs> you might not be able to get through if that lazy walrus is there. Wasn't you don't there say. a wide variety of animal people? I don't remember it just being rabbits. I remember like a hippo person. I and... think that's when she starts singing. You get more. Get the crocodile. Oh, there we go. There's the hippo lady. I'm I am Shul Donovich. The mermaid statue by the bay is my masterpiece. Whoa, whoa, what is he painting? I see the model over there, but that's not what he's painting. He's painting some <laughs> the kind art of. It's difficult for you to grasp, is it not? It's a Lovecraftian horror! 
Hello? Wow. What? Can I cut her? <laughs> Passive aggressive. 500. Did you see the painted poor portrait? She's been cut deeply enough, okay? Oh, right. You need to... Here, you need to bring a letter from Toriel here to Dr. Wright. Toriel. I, I, I'm thinking Animal Crossing. This is <laughs> this would go right along with uh, Isabel and the others. <laughs> you don't know the proper etiquette. We're dealing with a lady, do you? I feel accused. You should have brought flowers or something. Then I might be inclined to talk with you. Oh, yes, in case. Hibiscus are best. Anything less, and I'll think less of you as a person. I don't um, remember what you do with the honey. Bear. Bear? A bear next door. Oh! Okay. Likes honey. Yeah, I just like the honey. Something about this place. Honey. I kind of figured. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> Go to the Grim Shrine. Oh, where is it? Where is uh, there? Hey, Nico. Yeah, I grew up with the original. Broke all the pots just to be... Send a message. Yeah. Man. Yeah, Record of Lotus War. That's... That's, <laughs> that's old school, all right. That's something I should go back and watch. There's a lot of 90s properties that... Um, fuzzy on. I mean, <laughs> Maze of the Haze, I cannot go back and watch. Maze, the Mega Burst Space? Yeah, it, try watching it again. I still love the ending, but it's... I like the part. Wow. I, I remember the part where they went into, uh, the past. There we go. Is that possibly a honeycomb? I just ran out. Will you swap this for a pineapple? Stop rubbing your hands. Oven mitts are not on your face. You're cooking, sir. Hygiene. Now has for all of his food. Hi ho! Yep, another tub of goose. Once, Once he's asleep. asleep, he won't budge for a long time. <laughs> yeah, giant fish. Careful, that might be one of the singing fish. So, so favorite memory from Maze of the Haze? Yes. Oh. Maze of Microverse Haze? Yeah. It was when they went to the past and they all, they ended up like working jobs and things. <laughs> I don't know why. I just like that part. <laughs> That's what I remember from it mostly. I wonder if there's a warp in the town itself. That would be convenient. See, uh, I would have been... Oh, was a long time ago I saw that yeah, one. I just was rewatching from the first episode and I'm like, I like this. Oof. I'll tell you the OVA is like a completely different show. Yeah, I'm not sure which one I was watching, but it was oof. <laughs> Probably not the OVA. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's kind of like the different. Uh, I guess it's kind of like the difference between Magic Use Club and its OVA in its series. You don't, you don't mistake the two. You... I I really liked the OVA of Magic Users Club. The actual series had the episode with the doors. Yeah. One amazing episode. In a mediocre series. Yeah. Ah, the Dream Shrine. This mysterious pain in the ass that kept me wondering and coming back. Because figuring this game out as a kid took took time. Quite a bit of it. Oh. Okay, so I have to Link. So what's up here? Chest. Money. Probably a shell. Secret. Oh, secret. oh a lot of money. I'm rich! Oh, in my he's... dream. I dreamed I had this much money. In real life, I'm losing that much money currently. Somebody robs me while I sleep here. Um, it's funny, somewhere along the line, all of Link's instruments turned into ocarinas. But back in the day, he used to use flutes and things. No, no, go up, go back. Yeah. Up, over. Oh, right ledge. I didn't yes. even see it. But, uh... <laughs> uh yeah, no, there's a few series I wish got got a series. I'm, I'm uh, watching Photon, and I was like, I want that with a series with the same writing! <laughs> so much fun in that no, one. No, Dragon Half. Dragon, oh man, Dragon Half. We only ever got two episodes. I think the most surprising adaptation of an anime ever 
is Saber Marinette J. Because that manga did not equal that anime. <laughs> this is a marvelous anime. But yeah, I tried... Once I tried to look at the manga and went, what the hell is this? That's a mistake. The manga is a mistake. <laughs> I have no idea if the manga is good or bad. It's just not the story I watched. No. Uh, I'm actually super interested in Vinland Saga because I really loved the manga, and now there's there's an there's an adaptation this season. You gotta go to the beach. Oh, the beach, right? Yeah, there's 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 it's going on right now. I got to just wait until they finish a season of it, and then I'm gonna check it out. That and that and that the rest of Doctor Stone. Yeah, the the, the 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 first arc in Vinland Saga is amazing. It it really was. The just second amazing. arc didn't happen. I have I'm no idea. I, I only read so far. Yeah. No, the second... Uh, uh, it goes into literal farming. I mean, the background is still gorgeous, but it's just farming. And I'm like... Really? Oh. Why... why, why That's why, probably why where Harvest I Moon? left off. <laughs> why, why are we in Harvest Moon? Um, and then there's the small oh, skirmish. Really? Yeah. I eventually just got bored and left after like 50 chapters of farming. I haven't I haven't seen Spirit Tracks. Oh, 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 this... <laughs> Will you stay and talk to me for a while? One of the best moments of the game. It's Battle of the Windfish. Another variant of it. Yeah, well, the game was very thematic. All the instruments playing the tune, her singing it. Mm. And my strangest wish... We'll see for a long time. There's one thing I would want to change. It would be yeah. her wish. No, not the wish. We the discovered ending. you, Mario. My heart's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> Pauline, <laughs> is that you? <laughs> you should have named him Luigi. I'm telling you. I thought this person um, has come to give us a message. <laughs> like just doesn't talk. Just like. Mm. Too bad, I'm a mute. <laughs> as a seagull, I would fly as far as I could. I would fly to faraway places and sing for many people. I wish to the wind fish. I wonder if my dream will come to... Wish better! Wish harder! <laughs> How about you wish to stay a person? <laughs> hey, are you listening to Mar uh, Mario? Are you listening to me? No. <laughs> she had to ask. She was not sure because he was not saying anything. I want to know everything about you. Most of it is sword fighting and death and rebirth. She just knew. Just psychically knew. The, the way he was sitting there, just in a way that told her walrus needs to go. <laughs> the twists are in there. Hey, do uh, you mind it's... putting me down? <clears throat> Ow. What happens if you hit the chickens with her in this version? Does she does she approve? Ow. Let me see. What? She likes watching you dig, apparently. Um, Show off those manly Hylian muscles. Why aren't you keeping up, Myron? You gotta go fast. I think she actually would run when you ran with the boots, too. I <laughs> just ran into the kid. Uh, you didn't see anything, Myron. Hit something and see how she reacts. The animals! Attack the animals! Come in. <laughs> hey, you're not supposed to follow me. Go down here for a minute. Shit. Ow. What? <laughs> Surprise. Lee just drowned. <laughs> Get him out! He's dying! He can't swim! Oh, okay, okay. No concussion this time. I'm actually Yeah. You get to have her so very briefly, and yet she manages to be so expressive. Ow! Ah. Okay, no reaction to that. What about a chicken? Ch a cuckoo. 
<laughs> Go ahead and stop that. Okay. Spank it. Spank it. Spank it. A little bit more. A little bit more. <laughs> There's her inner psychopath. Well, she's with the right person. Yeah. Any more on that thing would have probably assaulted you with a horde. Just watch. That's how you build memories together. Bonding. Attacked by hordes of... Oh, hey. Look, there's a, there's a chain chomp. Oh, you're forced to do it. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh. <laughs> we don't even know how she got to go backwards, but she did. <laughs> She's just that good at it. Well, she got a man. <laughs> she, she's gonna bring him Winner home. Winner is you. <laughs> That's steaming mad. Nope, you're married now. You have no say. You're she good. won the prize. You're a pro, aren't you? Well, beat it. Pros aren't allowed in here. It's too bad. You can't. <laughs> she owns you now. Rules are rules. <laughs> I guess I'll take her one more place before I take her to the walrus. Hmm. I like ramming into hens. Oh, oh, you need to go... Is there still something you can knock down off a shelf in the library? Yeah, the uh, magnifying yeah. glass, right? Or was it something else? Now you're watching your hero be epic. <laughs> Come on, into the dungeon. Uh, no, I think I'll wait what, out what? here. Take care of yourself. What? But Bullshit. There's a, but there's a wall we need to bomb anyway, so. In here? Yeah. Ah, I don't even remember. You just follow my fingers as I direct you. Boop. You forgot all about that one, eh? I sure did. There might have been one in the uh, second dungeon, too. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I did not remember that. Yeah, uh... Get me out of here. I think when we arrive with Mar with Marin back in the town and she's singing the walrus away is probably a good stopping point for today and we can pick up tomorrow. Sure. Are you hurt? Yeah. I know that if you come back like super injured, she gets angry at you for being reckless. <laughs> um, there may be some more stuff, but I don't know. She doesn't do a do a flip in midair when she jumps. What kind of lazy, untoned bum is this? Not the Marwin we know. Hashtag not my Marwin. She's supposed to Pegasus run and super far jump. Oh no, she's doing it! She's doing it! She's doing oh, it! There we go. You just, you just, you just have to uh, get quite a distance before she starts. There we go. Hello, do you trust me? How much do you trust me? Do you trust me enough to turn into goop and fly into the sky? Yeah, sounds about right. Let's do it. Trust me a lot. <laughs> we, need, we need a mode where she's the main character. We can play as her. It would be awesome. She doesn't even need Pegasus boots I mean, to run. When, play, when playing Cave Story, how much do you want to play Curly Brace? I did. Oh, did you? Yes, that was an alternate mode available yes! when they re-released it on the Wii. Yeah, no, that, that's something that just should be just too awesome not to happen. Yeah. All right, so I need to... Sadly, that, that version wasn't really all... It, it wasn't really that much of an improvement of the original game, but it did give you curly brace mode. Eh, plus in my book. Okay, okay. Yeah, you took a round turn. It's easy to do that. A rock got up and rammed you with its face. It's that type of world, you know? Spiders live under rocks. Rocks live under spiders. You know. <laughs> rocks live under spiders? It's a more interesting and diverse world than I thought. <laughs> Philosophy at its best. 
he's gonna die. You know, we'll never see him again, right? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the key, and then we'll call it. All right. That's just quick. That's not what I remember happening. Yeah, no, he's just shocked, and he had, like, a heart attack His and falls over. His eyes opening, and... Yeah, he's dead. He just had a heart attack. That was it. Yeah, but now she get that ring of animals. Yeah. So we'll show that off next time. Um, I think, let me see. Got this ocarina out of a dream. Love how that happens. Oh, you gotta go blast open a uh, chicken. You, you don't know when he's... <laughs> oh, wow. You should have played that while she was with you. She would have taught you the ballad of the windfish. Oh, I like the desert. Look at that speck on the bottom. Nice. Got hey, some... look, another Mario enemy. Mario's enemies have been working a little bit strange in this world. They didn't come into our dimension quite right. The Goombas did. The Piranha Plants worked. You need a super bracelet to lift these, I think. If they can even be lifted. I think there was a second bracelet level. I don't remember. There is, yes. I'm just not sure if those could be lifted or not. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, the guy with the eyes. If you spray him with powder, he tells you stuff. Right. Well, do it. Oh, all right. Ah, yes, that dust was so refreshing. For that, I'll tell you a hint. Use a bomb in a place where the sand swallows you. There's a treat on the other side of the wall. <laughs> oh, there's dust that sets things on Deep fire. It's so refreshing. You're only getting in the way. Bomb. Oh, no. Nope. Bomb. <laughs> well, I'm glad the place was swa sand swallows me. Didn't need that hint. That looks like a very bombable wall. I think you throw a bomb down the hole, like from above. Could be mistaken. Oh no, you can just kill the boss. And then he drops the key, and then you have to get it before it falls down here. Ooh. I guess I'll just I fail to remember. But I wanted to take a skull up there and throw a skull at him. See his surprise, the skull comes flying at his face. What? Drop a bomb anyway. Okay. That's an interesting butt you have there. It's, it's, it's new fangled butt technology. Seems to be a fan. Do you even okay. have a weapon that can hurt him? I'm pretty sure my sword can. You could try jumping. Yeah, he's, he's in the air. That's what it is. Can you jump and slash in the air? Got him. You need that bow. You're so gonna fall in that hole. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was an okay. good catch. Okay, yeah. got him. So none of you guys could see that. The, the TV we're playing on just fell over for a second. Got him. Caught it barely. Yeah, that can just fall in the hole. Take it! I thought he was going to grab it automatically and just like, no, eight, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? It's just like, <laughs> goes what around him. What a stupid key. It's just like one bend. Link couldn't pick that lock. Doesn't know how. So, uh, somehow to save this. Push uh, all the buttons at once. I think it was. Probably not be more, though. Oh, oh, just open that up again. Uh, R. Okay. There you go. Yeah, it used to be push all the buttons at once. Um, so this game has an interesting save system where it has autosaves and it has save files. Uh -huh. And so the autosaves don't, it doesn't count as a save file. Never, it has a, it's, never, it's a slot. Tr never trust autosave. Well, I mean, they did a, a really clever thing with it where it's every time you get an item, uh -huh. um, every time you make any progress, the game considers progress, and it doesn't make it an automatic save. It's just at the bottom to remember if you 
you power shuts off or something. Oh, oh, it has okay. literally both systems, and I was like, and so I was like, someone cool. commented going, "This is the best save system where games should have it." I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, I agree with that. Uh, anyway, we will continue this tomorrow. Until then, until next time and every time. This is Hadrix and Schneider signing off. Bye. We've been almost everywhere in the game. Uh, hopefully, next time we'll be able to do it five dungeons. Be diving we go. into the hardest dungeons. Yeah. Yeah, I thought we were going to for sure we we're going to do the angler fish. Bye bye. <laughs>